Good evening, everybody. My name is Cameron, and I'm happy for three distinct reasons today. Actually, let's make it four. One, I'm playing Chrono Trigger, as you can clearly see on the screen. Two, I thought I only had vanilla chai tea in my apartment. As it turns out, I also have regular chai, which is just, just awesome. I just really like that. No, stop. Go back to the game. Go back to Chrono Trigger. There we go. Buttons. Buttons. Click the buttons. Why aren't my buttons working on my game? There we go. Buttons are working on my game now. Um, reason number three. Uh, this is the first dinner I've had in a while that was just smothered in cheese. I, I like cheese, guys. I really, really like cheese. And this dinner was smothered in it, for better or for worse. And reason number four, which used to be reason number three, but is now reason number four because Chrono Trigger replaced it as number one. As I'm pretty sure I just totally killed this job interview I went through the other day. It was like an all-day thing. They brought me into the office. I talked with, like, literally everybody there. And then I had a meeting afterwards, too, with some more folks. And I'm pretty sure I killed it. Like, killed in a good way. Like, there is absolutely no resemblance of life left in that interview in a, in a good way. Like, killed as in, like, yo, you did, like, pretty well on it. Not killed as in, like, I'm totally effed, man. Not like that. Um, but you know who is totally effed? Chrono. He's still dead. Chrono is dead, and I assume will forever be. I just found out, or I found out uh, sometime after stream the other day, that um, apparently, like, what I just did here is not central to the story. It just allows you to get that special item for Roy Boy over here. Um, and apparently there is a quest or something that you can do somewhere to actually, like, bring back Chrono whenever you want to. I didn't know about that, uh, and I don't know where to go for that, so I'm not going to attempt to find where it is. Like, I'm playing this game for realsies. Like, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I do want to know how to get out of here, though. How else do I get out? Can I go down here? Does this take me down, or that takes me up? I want to go down. How do I go down? How did I do this the first time? This is definitely the... Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What's going on here? No way! Hold on a second. No. No, what is this? Uh-uh. No. Hold on. I definitely did this last time. Hold on. Hold on. No. Hold on. I definitely did this last time. Get get out of here. God. No. How do I get out of this? No. Get out of here, Chrono Trigger. Incoming... That's my desktop. Incoming playing Chrono Trigger again. I definitely did that last week. And if I didn't, then I suppose we're doing it again this week. Uh, I don't want to do that again. But I may have to. I'm pretty sure I did that last week. And now we're going to confirm that. Load game. Uh, time egu. Uh, yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally did that. Why would it resume my game before things like that? That's just disrespectful. Anyway, get into the ship. Let's fly around. I don't know where to go now. Uh... So there is a way to bring Chrono back. What's the way to bring Chrono back? I have no freaking idea. To be perfectly honest, I have no idea where to go next. I just know, like, this big old, this big old floaty ship thing is in the air, and it was very scary, and I suppose I can't go there until I get Chrono back again, but I'm not really sure. Um, how do I travel through time in this thing? B? A Ooh, X button. Where do I want to go? Now that I can fly around as much as I want to, I'm going to go all the way back to prehistory. Let's see what's going on back there. And while I do so, I'm going to take a sip of my chai tea. Honestly, did not realize I had that, and I'm very pleasantly surprised that I do. Yes! I can go on top of this volcano now, can I? Was I always able to go over here? Crater. Was there something to find over here? There very well could be. This is going to be a little bit of a exploration. Camera doesn't know, really know what he's doing. So it's the, it's the authentic gaming experience. There's a time warp there. I don't want to do that type of time warp. It's authentic. It's as if you picked up the game after like a week of... Or two, or not playing it, and just just going for it, which is kind of that, that exactly describes that thing there. What is this green thing? I feel like that's important. What is this green thing? I'm gonna touch the green thing. Please land, land, land button, land, 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 land. I want to land on the ground. Can I land over here? Land, 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 land. So I can land there. Can I walk around? No. I want to land around here. Can I land on top of the green thing? No. Can I? There we go. Let's touch the Lost Sanctum. Oh. Is this something I've already been to and I just, like, conveniently forgot about it? Oh, right. Where are we? My memory banks contain no data on this location. Isla smells something. Maybe animal here. I wonder if there are any people here. I wonder the same questions, my friends. 
I wonder. The Lost Sanctum. Hello? People? Any people? The, the music is incredibly happy here. I'd be shocked if there wasn't, like, people here. I'd be shocked if there were, like, enemies. They'd be bad. They'd be very bad. What's in here? Can I go inside? Can I please get- No, can't go inside there. Oh, can't go inside of that hole in the wall. Roy Boy is just too big to go inside. How about this one? Nope. How about this one? Can I jump on the table? No, I cannot. Oh, cutscene time? This appears to be a settlement. We may be able to find people nearby if we search. Cool. Thank you for that astute observation. I walked out... outside? Nothing here. Go other place? Well, it clearly seems like there's something... No, wait, what are you talking about? There, there, there's clearly something there. What are you talking about? Do you not see all the green glowing grass? It's like, it's like you walk into, like, a room trying to look for, like, a criminal, and there's just, like, blood all over the place, and you're like, hmm. There's nothing here. Like, yeah, there is. Probably, maybe. Whoa, I just clicked the wrong button on my lights. There we go. That's much better. Can't go into that hole. What about this hole? What about this hole? I can't go into any of the holes. Which is rather unfair. Oh, but I can go into this one. Hello? Um. Is there is there anything in the hole? Okay, so that hole I could go into. Weird. What well, what makes that hole special? I also see a lit up hole over to the left. Oh, okay. Oh, a little area over here. That's cool. Uh, can I get? Wait a minute, why? I would surely be able to get to that chest if I could go through that hole. Can I go through these trees? I cannot. Oh, is there anything in the bushes? There is not. Anything? Oh, hello, you guys. Hello, enemies. Art thou friendly? Look at all those monsters. I wonder if they attacked that village. I wonder. Come on, fight monster. Beat all. Nah, but I don't really want to. <laughs> Walked right by them, little scrubbies. <gasps> Tiny little gobbos! Yeah, do you see me? Yeah, do, look, look, look at me. Oh, they realize I can't get to them. I want, I want to get to you. I want to introduce myself to you. I want to show you the glory that is modern technology. Hey, hey, pal, you're blue. Um, are you friends? Obtain high potion. Are you, are you guys, are you guys actually enemies or like? Oh, okay. Now it's time to fight. So I can walk around you all I want to, but I can't touch you. <gasps> it must be a boy and a not-so-boy gabo thing. Um, no, oh, that's 51 de- Why am I not healed? Oh my god. Uh, yeah, let's aura beam everybody so that people just, like, don't die. Sounds pretty good. Am I also out of, like... Do I have any dual tech with the uh, Roy boy over there? Oh, we'll just wait then. I, I gotta have a dual tech with somebody, right? Nah, I'll just toss a boulder at the little guy. Yeah, let's let's throw one at the little guy. There you go. There you go. That that sounds like a good idea. That sounds like an absolutely wonderful idea. So now you've been thrown like a boulder up and up. Holy shit, that was a lot of damage. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. Holy crap. Pretty cool. Twin charm. I don't know. I've never actually succeeded with charm before. So let's twin charm that guy, and then Roy Boy's gonna like. Like aggressively fist this pink one, right? Oh, I got it. What I get? Enemy is nothing to give but gratitude. Cool. So like, so like, I definitely just flash for the enemy, right? That's that's what the charm. That's what's implied there. Very good then. Very very good. Well, I suppose that guy's just like, <laughs> thanks for the view. <laughs> like you're welcome. I suppose. Oh, Roadboy's almost dead, but he will soon be. Oh, you have not yet been eviscerated. Let's just... Oh, Roy Boy is dead. So I will ice you. I didn't realize I was so low on MP. I probably should have taken care of that. Are you dead now? You are a powerful little one, aren't ya? Powerful little goblin boy now, ain't ya? Yes, you is. Yes, you is. Yes, I attempted to harmonize there. I don't think it was very good, to be perfectly honest. I really gotta know a song before I can, like, truly harmonize with it. I should have healed everybody, but I did not. Do you have anything that can kill everybody? Uh, 
what's your face? You, uh, with the hair and the lack of clothing? Uh, yeah, what's your face? Ayla! Ayla! I believe we per I believe we determined last time was it it was Ayla. Ayla Ayla and then Marl. Marl? I believe that was the case. I believe that is what we settled on last time. Although I probably forgotten at this point. And if I did, well, if I'm not offending anybody, then I think we're can we're good to continue. Oh, you're not happy. You're not happy. I don't like you. Oh, you're totally dead. Can I run? I can't escape. Can I just keep escaping? Still cannot escape. <laughs> Toss you up in the air! And then, yeah. I still can't escape. Like, there's no escapage. I need to bring somebody back to life. Like, moral. I gotta bring you back to life. This is what happens when I don't think before I jump into battle. It's okay. You're fine, right? Yeah, just get up. You're good, you're good. Just don't, like, don't punch moral. Because that would be very mucho disrespecto. Ba -ba -boom -boom. I'll round a low kick another one of these guys. It looks like one of the goblins actually has... Um, one of the goblins actually has uh, Roy Boy on top of his head. Like, disrespectfully so. Oh god, okay. Cure myself. Oh, you've killed yourself. Incredible! Now we're all dead, right? Almost. Oh god, that's, that's definitely it. Nope, that is. All dead. All very much dead. Whoa, I turned on my controller. My controller turns blue, did you know that? Now you know. The controller turns blue. It's cool. It's my favorite color. It's appropriate. Load. Go back to it. This time we're going to be smart this time. I'm going to heal myself up beforehand because I didn't realize that I was so low on health. Oh, give me shelter! That's it. Just that. It seems very happy for uh, the sad things. So I'm gonna go in here now, and final boss, perhaps? No, it's a little altar of nothingness. Maybe they're sacrificial altars. Maybe this is where uh, the king and queen were both sacrificed. King and queen of this village. Was king, was, uh, like, royal bureaucracy a thing 65 million years ago? I don't know. I really wish I could open that wall, but I cannot. Now we're gonna go about this smart. Ver, ver smart, ver smart. We're gonna fight enemies but in a good way and not hurt ourselves the way that we did before. That just seems unfortunate. Fight monster, beat all of them. Yes, I will beat all the monsters. I will kill all of the titans because I am Yaren Jagger. From the hit series Attack on Titan. It's about attacking the planet known as Titan. It has nothing to do with giant creatures that can get up to 50 meters tall. That's a different show, as we all know. Last saw surrounding enemies? Yeah, that... Oh, surrounding me? Um... Because I feel like I can most definitely kill all of them. But I'll, I'll go for those ones. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'll... I'll boulder toss the big guy! Yeah, proximity bomb. That's what you get for stepping too close, you little bitch! But you're... Oh, okay, you're actually dead this time. One icing and one bombing, and that's what kills you. Or one icing and one boulder bashing? Yeah, boy. All right. We like to see that happen. I'm a goat now. I don't know how we got here, but I'm a billy goat now. And now I'm back to regular human. Now back to your regularly scheduled Cameron. I guess. I need to heal myself. You, Marl, could use some of the heals. Seems advantageous. And then we're gonna beat the shit out of these little ones. Yeah. I hate you because you're blue, and that's a disgrace to my favorite color. I just like you because you're pink. It's a disgrace to Anna's favorite color. I dance like you because you're green, and that's dis that's um. What was the word I was saying before? That's a disgrace to like who's Lord's favorite color and my father's favorite color. Tomorrow's my father's birthday, actually. Happy birthday in advance, Dad. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be coming home later in the day, depending on how things go over here. Anna's got some, uh, I think got a, she's got another test tomorrow that she's got to take. And we'll wind up seeing how things go. She's passed them all so far, from what we can tell. Very good! Very good, very good. Um, cat attack. I'm gonna savagely claw the pink one. 
Actually, I want to savagely call Claw the green one. Because I don't like you. I'll rapidly fire fist it. I'll fist you rapid fire style. Because that's... Yeah. Yeah, you don't like being fisted that fast, do you? Well, honestly, I don't think anybody would. And if they are, then... We don't kink shame here. I would never. Kink shame? I would never. Slate imp. It's made of rock? Okay. Oh, we killed him. Nice. All it took was one attack you. Nice! Chesty, chesty. Boing, boing, boing. That's not inappropriate. It's from an anime. Which was definitely not inappropriate. The anime, I mean, of course. It's from an anime called Robotics Notes from the same people who made Steins Gate. It was alright. That one was pretty good. Um, let's see if I can... I guess I'll laser spin all enemies with the laser. I'll cure ice to all of you guys. And then... I don't know. I don't know what to do with you, Ava. I'm gonna beat the beat up the green guy. Keep it beat with the green guy. Now you green guy. Stupid guy who's green and also kind of like... What are you, like an armadillo or something? Like got like real big? Because it looks like you could like curl up. Or maybe that's just like a really long mohawk. It's giving me like samurai vibes. Or like Oni, Oni vibes. Maybe. Oh, that didn't kill you all? Unfortunate. Yeah, keep on punching me then. See what how see where that gets you. Wow, you all attack at the same time before Ayla can even do anything. Every single one of you! That's disrespectful! You don't even give us the time to like announce what kind of attack we're doing. Wow, you're just you're still going. Wow, I don't like any of you all. Okay. <laughs> um, can I like Track all enemies, iceberg toss in a circle. So let's get all those guys, and then you can also laser spin them again. Ah, oh, Marley's dead again. They were supposed to be. She's supposed to be the good one, because she's supposed to be alive. But she's weakened against such attacks. All right. Well, that might have taken care of all of them. So, alrighty then. I'll take it. I'll take it. Bye. Bye. If I hit you... Oh, did I... Honestly, I thought that Ayla just whacked Marley's butt. That's inappropriate. But I suppose in 65 million BC, is like... Is that known to be a culturally inappropriate thing yet? Like, back then was smacking butts not... Well, I guess even nowadays, smacking butts is a culturally appropriate thing. Especially when it comes to sports. I had, for a hot second, forgotten that, ritualistically, good game could be conveyed by not even a gentle, but a smack on the ass. Um, that's happened to me a couple of times, and I have not been comfortable with it. Any one of them. Anytime somebody takes the opportunity, dare I dare I say, the right away from me, from a non-hurting ass, for their congratulations to me, I feel uncomfortable. Because your hand has no place on this butt without asking me first. I suppose if you were to ask me, May I smack your ass in a congratulatory manner? I'd be like, sure. But if you don't ask first, I would consider that rather, um, rather unwarranted. In my humble opinion. However, that's just my humble opinion. Does anybody else have experiences out there of their ass being smacked? In an uncomfortable manner? Um, if it's too personal, I completely understand. I just figured we could have, like, a round of conversation here about weird things that have occurred in our life. What other weird things have occurred in my life? Oh, you know, one thing comes to mind as a really weird thing that occurred in my life. One time, one time I was, I came back home from work to my fraternity house, and people were kind of, like, drinking on the porch because people, people hang out. People do the stoop! The stoop in Philadelphia. That's a new term that I learned today. I've been here in Philly for five years, and the first day I've heard of the stoop. Um, we had a stoop. We hung out of the stoop and drank a couple of beers and stuff like that. I came home, and this girl was very, very enthralled. Uh, I, I started speaking to her just because they were... She's on my porch. I want to know what you're doing on my porch, hanging out with my other guys, have some conversation. And she got really, really enthused about... I told her about my, my girlfriend at the time, fiancé now. I told her about my ring, which spins. 
Do you see that? My spin rings. My spin ring. My spin rings. My ring spins. She was like, that's so cool. Can I wear it for a little bit? And I was like, I suppose you can, so long as you don't leave my sight, because I love that ring. And so she put the ring on, and we continued chatting all with the group and whatnot. And eventually I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go upstairs, and I'm going to go use the bathroom, because I have to use the bathroom, and I also have work to do. And she's like, oh, I have to use the bathroom too. I suppose I'll join you. I'm like, Ex excuse me? And the immediate thought that I had was, this is like... This is like what girls do, right? They go to the bathroom together. And I am in place of, I guess, a more appropriate suitor, or a more appropriate partner, the one there that seemed most appropriate. So um, my immediate thought was, I still don't have my ring back. I want my ring back. So if that involves going together, then I suppose that's what we'll do. I never wind up peeing that time. I did not. I did not urinate anywhere near this woman. I did not know who she was. I just met her that day. However, apparently she was more than comfortable to allow herself to do her own business while I very much looked the other direction. Um, and then what made it even weirder is she decided, I guess, to make it a point to let me know, like, oh, oh, I'm not worried. You can look if you'd like to. And I was like, well, thank you for letting me know that I'm allowed to, but I still will not. I don't like that prospect. And, uh... That was the time that I learned why girls go to the bathroom together, because I was the stand-in. That was another weird experience in my life. It was weird. People have weird experiences. What's another weird experience? I've had plenty of weird, weird experiences in my life, and I feel like as I am thinking of one, I'm, like, slowly but surely remembering others. And here's another weird experience I had walking through the streets of Philadelphia. Actually, two weird experiences walking through the streets of Philadelphia. The first one, I was with my fiancé. And we were just kind of walking around, and I looked to the ground, and I see a card. It's a card on the ground. Not like a playing card. Not like a playing card from, like, a deck. A card, like, from a board game. And it was from this board game that Nana and I really love called Red Dragon Inn. The Red Dragon Inn. And that card, in the game, you have to... You're, you have two health values. One is your fortitude, and the other is your, I guess, your drunkenness. And one starts at 20, and one starts at zero. And as you get more drunk the drunkenness goes up, and as you get more hurt, the fortitude goes down, and if those values ever cross, you pass out. That's one way to lose the game. You can run out of money. You can also lose the game that way. But the key concept here is there is a drunkenness aspect to it. And so in that, in, the, in that spirit, I found a card on the ground that, in-game, in would allow you to add one alcohol content to a drink that a player in the game would be able to play. And I was just like, this is perfect. I'm gonna keep this in my jacket. And then, when I'm at a bar, I'm gonna randomly, like, slip this to one of my friends and be like, now it's more alcoholic, as a joke. And not to somebody who wouldn't get it, but like to somebody who would like appreciate a nice, well-placed board game reference. That's not a lot of people in my circle of influence, but they are a lot of my close friends, quality friends. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll share the next weird story on the streets of Philadelphia after this dialogue. Beat all monster, go back? Yes, let us safely return for now. But I want to touch this thing. Touch thing, touch thing. Touch little thing? Yeah, touch thing. Look, appears to be a freshly sprouted sapling. Okay. What about it? Is, is that all? Is that all? Can, can I not do anything with that? I can't touch it at all? Alright. Guess I can't touch that. Anyway, um, other weird experience on the streets of Philadelphia is I was walking along with a, uh, with a pal of mine who very so graciously is also serving our country's navy um not the same friend a different one i have a couple friends in the navy now which is actually pretty pretty freaking cool she's doing real well right now but we were just kind of walking out i don't know where we were going actually but somebody decided to make it their personal business to like scream at the both of us and be like yo that girl's poison man and first of all my my first thought was first of all what does it mean for a girl to be poison like poisonish like i understand there's a po there's a song like that girl is poison that's got a cool little riff line to it like the it's a good bass line it's a very enjoyable bass line that girl is poison or um not toxic poison toxic is like a britney spears song or something like it. i'm addicted to you but you know that you're toxic down 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 um, that's the one. 20,000 G, oh my god. Um, but yeah, so we just kind of walked for the rest of that, wondering in the back of our minds, like, 
what thoughts was going on that, that particular person's head to call this friend of mine toxic, po a poison, poison, excuse me, and what they influenced, the, the, what they gleaned the relationship was. There's nothing romantic there, just friendship, which is a good thing. Sometimes friendship is magic. Okay, well, I found a sapling. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna go up here too into this thing. Uh, was there anything else to find? Up there was not. Now that I have the sapling, can I go down to that other area again? The one that looked so sparkly and inviting? Mm, no. It does not seem that I am able to do that. Interesting. I don't know what those green things are supposed to be. Those green little time warp things. Oh, I'm back here again. Uh, new cutscene? Whew, I'm worn out. Why don't we head back? There doesn't seem to be anything here but monsters anyway. Who's making all that elephant outside? We've got British people 65 million years ago. Go on, get yourself eaten by monsters, silly right it will. Oh, yo, you were definitely for the future. Oh, a, a reptite. They're still alive. Dog and apes! I stand upon two feet. What matters is this? Ape no good? You say bad, Isla? You bad reptite. Well, never mind in that. Did you not spy any big, strong beasties out about? Uh, do you mean the monsters in the forest? We have exterminated them. You, uh, you what? We'll fight you too, bro. Yo, you wonderful, beautiful apes. Hmm. I say in the most robotic way possible. Hmm. We're free at last. Prisoners in our homes no more after all these long years of suffering. Come out, everyone! The monsters are gone for good! Are there more reptiles? Oh, this is like the reptile village. Oh, nice! This is some cruel joke, is it? I'm just gonna say they're all cockneyish British. I'm gonna go for it. Is it truly safe? Yes. They can come outside! Question mark. He said questionably, not ex exclamatory. You have a most doubtful thanks. Who would have dreamt that ape man would come to save us? Our days of cowering in cramped caves are finally at an end. You've done us a great kindness. It's not much, but we'd like to offer you this in thanks. After all you've done, it's the least we can give you. I obtained the dragon's tear. That sounds un potentially unnecessarily epic. Cool. I don't know what that does. I, um, uh, uh, well, uh, I mean... Provided you've the time, provided you've the time and all, but being as strong as you are, I, I don't suppose you'd be willing to lend an ear when we need some help, would you? Uh, we wouldn't ask you to work for free, of course. We're prepared to compensate you for your efforts, and I think it would be worth your while. Uh, what do you say, old chap? Agree to listen to the reptite's request? <laughs> yes. Excellent. Come and speak to us now and again, and we'll tell you if we ever have a need for anything. Okay. Are we sure about this? Yes, do you have anything that you need of us now? Yo, greetings again! Uh, if I've ever another favor to ask of you, I'll be sure to ask. You'll be sure to ask? How are you gonna get in contact with me, dude? Can I go down here to Sparkly Area now? Yes, I can. Sweet. I like it. Well, now I can explore this area. Hi, Potion. Hi, Potion! <laughs> Hello, Potion! Goodbye, Potion. <laughs> oh, it's a joke. We get it, it's a joke. What's up, Froggy Dude? More froggy dudes! It's two froggy dudes! Three froggy dudes, and perhaps a fourth? No, oh, people are dying. Um, we're gonna ice. Oh, you're gonna kill all of us with water attacks? Yep, that would kill. You're the most savage beast. I'm gonna escape. I'm gonna go back and heal, and then I'll be back. Yeah, okay, okay, hold up. I'm gonna go back. Uh, I'll, I'll be back, I'll be back. I should, I should have healed first. I did not heal, and I meant to. Or actually, I didn't mean to, I just completely forgot to. Me being silly willy bo billy banana nana fo filly. Be fi fo quilly. Willy willy dilly. Dilly filly, dilly dilly. I tried to market beer like that. It didn't make the beer any more palatable. Shelter. Oh, my timer on my Fitbit is going off. Excuse me one moment. Dearest, your mac and cheese is ready! Okay! Thank you for allowing me at the moment to let my fiance know that her dinner is ready because it was in the oven cooking for a long time. It took mine like five minutes to go up. Hers took like 50 almost. 
Have you ever come across a rusted blade? Bring it to me, will you? I'll reforge it for you. Do I have a rusted blade? Um. I don't. I don't know. What do you got? Smiter's blade. That doesn't help at all. This would help everybody, but do I have all that? Oh my god, I have a ton of money. Holy crap, I got tons of that. My god, that's such a good idea. Uh, who would be made advantageous from these? The Aeolian? Aeolian seems to be best, so I'll buy like a few of those. Maybe like four-ish. Uh, Platinum Vest would be even good for a lot of people, as well as the Aeolian. We'll buy a few of those. I got money for it, so why not? Um, Barrier Spheres reduces magic damage. Um, I, I now realize how useful these spheres are, so I'm actually gonna buy a couple of those too. Uh, I don't have Chrono on me. I feel like it would be get used to the Vampirian Blade. Uh, Athenian Water seems to be really cheap around here, so I'm gonna buy quite a bit of that. Yeah, that's cool. Um, shelters? Shelters are good. Whoa, give me shelter. They've got elixirs here, fully rest- Wow, well, that's a- it's really expensive, though. High ethers and high potions. So I'll go with the high potions. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, that feels good for now. Um, do I have the rest of the blade? Uh, apparently not. What about you, sir? You seem to be doing well. If only my daughter had that much energy. Hmm, if only, right? If only the youngsters had energy. There's something happening you might want. There's something I was hoping you might help me with. A legend in our village tells of a ghoul tool named as the Golden Hammer. And I'd like you to search for it if you'd be willing. Uh, the tales say it's made from the wood of a golden tree, but I'm afraid I can't tell you very much else. Do you suppose you can spare the time to search? Um, agree to search for the Golden Hammer. I'll accept your mission. Truly. Oh, I, I knew I could depend on you. Thanks. You didn't actually say thanks, but I figured gratitude would be necessary for stuff like that. Sad boy time. Well, I can't go up there. Don't want to go up there. Actually, what if I go... What if I see that plant again? No, there's no people here. This is not the plant I was looking for. These are not the shrubs you were looking for. This is merely a different shrub. What about you, sir? The Legend of the Golden Hammer. Ah, yes, I heard about it long ago. Sprinkling golden sand around a young sapling will cause it to produce golden wood. A hammer is made from that. Oh, I need golden sand. I don't have any of that. Okay. I love things that sparkle, don't you? Gemstones and such. They're so beautiful. I don't have anything that sparkle, apparently. Um, otherwise, you surely would have pointed it out. Through the narrow passage to the west is a cavern dark as pitch. Beyond that, well, who knows? Who could know? The place is so dark you couldn't see a thing, but I think something's hidden in there. Through the narrow passage to the west. The, the west? Is there a narrow passage to the west that I don't know about? To the west? Is the west this way? It's so dark. Was there an opening over here that I couldn't quite get? Nope, I don't see a narrow passage. What speak of you like that, sir? I know not of no I know not of this narrow passage. I know not of what you speak. Time to go beat the shit out of some frogs. Uh, no offense to you, Frogo. Uh, I understand you are also frog in nature and in body and in spirit. But uh, I assure you, you will you are in no danger. All right, time to like I want to see if I can ice ice them all. Actually, it's it's water attack, so that might actually not be. Thing. I don't know. Let's attack you with shadow power. You were doing a lot of damage, my guys. My little froggos. My little froggos. My little froggos. They're using electric abilities. Oh, that didn't do a lot of damage at all. Maybe physical attacks are what's where, where it's at. Oh, yeah. Physical attacks are where it's at. Oh, man. Uh, how did you... Who attacked that time? I don't know who did that 600 damage. Honestly, wasn't watching closely enough. But everyone can attack physically. Yeah, punch those frogs. We need to use our MP. We've got the power and all that stuff on our side. Excuse me, I adjust my camera verbo, but I'm never satisfied with the way that this camera is facing. Is that better now? Can we all see my Ninja Sex Party shirt? It's awesome. I love that band. What a very under. What a very underappreciated band name. Actually, I think they're very much overappreciated. No, 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 just right the amount of appreciated. I very much enjoy their music. Very much enjoy their music. And uh, and I enjoy the game if the, the game grumps anyway. Yo, I recognize you, you're from the future. Maybe you've always been here. That guard here, hey, no, you know, past you. Okay, fine, I guess I won't. What'd you say, baby? Um, Because my timer went up. Uh, 50 minutes, just about, so. That's what I think. I can't smell them if that's what you're wondering. Oh, whoever smelt it dealt it, dear. Sorry. 
What's this? I tame golden sand. Oh shit, dog. Nice. Golden sand is good because uh, that's what I need to uh, make the golden hammer with the tree and stuff. And then I guess, oh ho ho ho. I understand now. You see what's going to wind up happening is I'm going to go to the tree thing. Oh, narrow passage. Look at this. This is cool. Look what's in here. But I can plant it now, go to the future, and then collect the golden hammer and come back. That's how this game is played because this is a game about the future. Nice. I'm going to water you. Oh, there was only one of them. Shh, well, I didn't want to do that then. I don't know. We should probably just punch. Unless ice does really good. I didn't need to use ice too. I didn't need to do that. Hey, what are you doing? No. Yeah, miss me. Miss me with that bullshit. Oh, you're dead. Cool. I did see a chest or something somewhere, but this looks like a little, uh, little dungeon-y ma- The fuck are you? Hey, buddy. Do, are you- are you friend? There's a narrow passage over here that leads over here where I can open up a chest and find, um, Mega Elixir! <laughs> I feel like there's no- there's no other way to say it aside from Mega Elixir! It's very funny. I enjoy that very much. Um, now I'm gonna use my ice attack on the both of them, and then I'm gonna use my laser spin attack on the both of them, and then... I don't know. Oh! Water attack! You use the water attack on Marl! Or whatever attack it was. Because it made her heal. That's the special power we have on that one. Are you trying to... Uh, uh, what are you doing? What are you... What? Uh, what? What? What would you do that for? Roy boy, don't you do that. Or maybe he was doing the telekinesis. Oh, shadow. Shadow powers make him... Ah, uh, no, that... No, stop. Stop hitting my friends. Stop hitting my friends. I don't like that. Um, Marl, would you mind healing our buddy Roy boy over here? Um, let's cure Roy boy. Roy boy is going to do his rapid fire fist on this little butt cheek. This little butt cheek went to Mark. This little butt cheek went home. That's all the butt cheeks. There were only ever two. For those who have five butt cheeks to continue the rest of the verse, um, good for you, I suppose. That's that's good then. I want to see what else uh, is in his cavern. Honestly, I'm. Not, um... Oh, I couldn't get... Can you go down there? Honestly, what I'm actually kind of happy about this, like... So, like, this game fits under the category of games that, like... Oh, I can go through that? Apparently I can. Look at that. This game fits under one of those categories where, like, enemies have to be... Can be seen before you run into them. I have always been a fan of games like that. Uh, as opposed to, let's say, a game like Pokemon, where the battles, you don't... If you're in, like, an area, like a cave, you don't know when the battle is going to begin. And the, the like, the, um, the algorithm or whatever that determines, like, when a battle is about to think. Reptite Tiara. Oh, is somebody's queen back here? Interesting. But, like, those games like that always kind of annoyed me because I'm like, I don't know if I want to go into, the like, the potentially dangerous area because, like, oh, that is dark. Interesting. Um, my visual sensors do not function in total darkness. We should go back. Oh shucks. Well, I guess I feel, I feel like I need Chrono for that, because he has light energy. Alright then, well, I don't want to fight you all again, so uh, I guess I'm going to continue backwards. Um, but yeah, like, those games were always kind of like, eh. I like Pokemon, don't get me wrong, I really like playing Pokemon. I have not played it in a very, very long time. Because, I think... <sighs> I want to say, the last time I spent a significant amount of time playing a Pokemon game was Pokemon Platinum. And, and Pokemon Sapphire, the original ones. And I played, I played the hell out of Pokemon Sapphire. I definitely put at least 300 hours in that game. Um, Pokemon Platinum. I'm pretty sure I, I don't exactly know how much I put in that. And honestly, I don't even remember if it was Platinum or Diamond. I played Platinum and Diamond, like, all of them. Um, those three from those generations. Because like, that was kind of what I was going through, like, um, elementary and middle school. And um, I guess, like, yeah, mostly elementary and middle school. Um, I kind of fell out of Pokemon in high school. Like, I bought... Um, the ones that came after it, which I think were X and Y, and then, um, X2, Y2, or, or black, uh, black, oh, let's see, X and Y, black and white, black, white, uh, black 2, white 2, um, and I own all those games, but I really, really didn't play them. So, like, I feel more or less bad for my parents. I mean, it was only, like, a, like, maybe the equivalent of, like, 100 or 2 bucks or so. So, looking forward, uh, looking backward now, it really wasn't that much. But even still, I'm like, yeah, I'm just not as into it as I was. Uh, before but like i wanted to go back into it and then 
when I told myself I wanted to go back into it, originally I decided to buy uh, Sun and Moon, or I bought Sun, I think. Um, and I played, I think, up to the end of it. Um, I want to say I got until I got until the end of the storage, uh, end of the main story, mm, but not much farther than that. Then I fell out of it again. But like, I always remember really, really enjoying like being able to collect the Pokemons and try to hit the Pokemon and try to like fill out your Pokedex as much as you could. And at the time, I did that for the Hoenn region because I legitimately thought that it was something that was really within your reach to do. Like, I played through uh, the earlier Pokemon games too, like when I was a lot younger like, blue, yellow, and stuff, because I felt like to be able to complete the Pokedex felt like such an achievable goal. Nowadays, it's like, you can't do that, unless you, like, finagle with, like, online trading and stuff like that, which I've never been one to be social in that type of way. I'm a different person now than I was previously. I don't feel as uncomfortable communicating with people on the internet as I was previously. Um, you were asking about something shiny. Uh, no, 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 you were asking about something shiny, right? No, you were talking about something shiny. They're so beautiful. Yeah, can I give you the tiara? You don't want the tiara? Okie dokie. I feel like you would like the tiara more than anybody else. Uh, what about you, sir? If you're tired, I'll this to my home. Yes, I would love the rest of your home. Thank you. It's very wonderful of you. But I eventually want to go back into Pokemon. And to be perfectly honest, the game that I'm going to go to? It's probably Pokemon Platinum. Or, uh, actually, you know. You know. You know, the new Diamond and Pearl remakes are coming out. So maybe I should just start from that. That actually could be really cool. I could play from there because I love the Sinnoh region. I think the Hoenn region is my favorite, but like Sinnoh got a special place in my heart. There used to be an enormous tree growing in the wood, but those mountains failed it. Out of ways was such a strong and stalwart tree. I had feelings toward that tree. No, oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I'm going to go touch that tree. Uh, it's small and tiny now, but... Oh, hi, asshole. Why are you still here? Stupid. Whoa, 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 what's this? What's this now? I don't want to fight you all again. Oh, come on. Oh, they're all gobbles now. Jack rabbits. Come on here. Mess all with my. Mess all with my juz. Mess with my juz. You met with the juz, you get the. the huzz. The huzz, buzz, buzz. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure. The. the um, what is it? Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl are announced for, I'm pretty sure, the Nintendo Switch. I don't actually own a Nintendo Switch, but I've been planning on getting one at some point, and now that, hopefully speaking, your boy may have a position that pays, pays enough to pay the rent, I may be able to get myself a Switch. And then a car, like a, you know, something I could attach to capture the Switch. Actually, technically the Roxio, the, Ro yeah, the Roxio can attach to the Switch. So yeah, I got something for that. Um, you, uh, hit hit them. So that could be fun. I, I definitely want to do something like that. Also, like, there are many, there are, like, a couple Switch games out there that I wanted to play, and I never had the opportunity to. I think the Switch games that I spent the most time in is I got all the way through Super Mario Odyssey. I loved it. Got all the way through, um, Breath of the Wild twice. I loved it. Did it on Master Mode, or Master, Master Mode? Yeah, that's what I think they call it. And I loved it. Um, and I, I think, like, maybe I'd do, like, a, a stream playthrough of those games, because I, I like them. I'd play it again. I don't know. I don't know. I've been wanting to play, like, like Nintendo-based games, which is kind of why, like, like the GameCube games that I've been playing have all been, like, Nintendo classics, or, like, classics in my opinion, like Super Mario Sunshine or Chibi Robo, which I thoroughly enjoyed on Sunday. Um, in the future, I definitely, mo most definitely, am going to be playing Luigi's Mansion, like a full marathon run of that. That's not difficult to marathon in a day, maybe even twice. Um, getting all the secrets, though, is a different story, but as many as I can try. I don't think I ever actually made, like, a ton of progress in, um, Luigi's Mansion, um, but I watched my brother, my younger brother, play it all the time, and he's gone through it multiple, multiple times, and, uh, I, did, I love that game. You know, um, a little special tidbit of information. Um, seven years ago, before when I first when I first asked out my fiance a long time ago, um, she goes away for the summer, or at least did previously. Um, she'd like go away for like the whole summer in high school. She'd go to Disney World with her family, and so it was pretty much right before the end of the school year that I asked her out, and we went on a date, and it was all wonderful and hunky dory. So uh, before it was either before we left or after she got back, um, I think we had. Uh, I think we had our first kiss on the couch as uh, we were watching uh, my brother play Luigi's Mansion. I think that was the first one. 
I think. Yes, it definitely was. That was definitely the one. I look back on that day fondly. It was a bit of a not, good, good experience for me. Very proud of that moment. Also, I'm happy to say that it was in front of, you know, it was in front of Luigi's Mansion, one of my, uh, one of my other, like, favorite games. Oh my god, you got a lot of fuzzy boys. Hello, fuzzy boys. That's a lot of fuzzy boys. Um, but yeah. And, uh, you know, I try to, I try to keep that type of, uh, I try to keep that type of mentality in everything that I do, especially for my relationships. For example, like, I proposed to my fiancé over a game of Settlers of Catan. Uh, which is one of our favorite board games. We don't play it very much right now, but it is one of our favorite board games nonetheless. We have quite a few expansions for it. Um, I picked them up, but I've got cosplay stuff on top of the boxes, and I don't feel like all that shit getting all over the ground. Um, looking forward to the next cosplay stuff that we do. Um, we're going to uh, Gen Con, which is coming up in about, I think, two weeks? I think, two weeks for Gen Con? Over in Indianapolis. I don't know if anybody's out there in Indianapolis, but we will be there. And feels like it'll be a lot of fun. We're really excited for it. We're only going to be there on Friday. Because uh, we've never been to that particular con before. We didn't exactly know what it's like yet. And we want to kind of like uh, um, like test the waters. Or if we want to go back again. Or whether we want to bring our friends next time. Like, uh, it could be cool. But, uh, yo, holla, Gen Con, Indianapolis, 2021. We're going to be cosplaying too. We're going to dress up as Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service. And Tombo, also from Kiki's Delivery Service. Sprinkle the golden sand around the sapling? Yes! Sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Sprinkle, sprinkle. I'm gonna grow into a mighty tree. Excuse me. All right. Now we just wait to grow fruit into a tree. How long do you suppose that'll take? Oh! What if we came back here through another gate in the Middle Ages? Maybe we would have already grown. <laughs> what a wise choice. <laughs> Marley? Marl? <laughs> Excuse me. Jesus, T! Making me, making me hiccup. But yes. Ah, oh, la di da di da. What was I talking about? Pokemon stuff. I like Pokemon. Pokemon's good. Um, let's talk about GameCube stuff. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Like eventually, I will most definitely do another like marathon uh run thing of Luigi's Mansion. Um, honestly, I was actually quite shocked that um I I know Chibi Robo was a really really awesome game for me, and it seemed like there wasn't a lot of people out there who were also interested in it, but then again, like, Twitch, like, if you're, unless you're looking for it, it's gonna be hard to find people, like, playing that game, um, just, or at least on Twitch, from what I can tell, um, but I thoroughly enjoyed myself, and I played that shit, of course I enjoyed myself, I played that shit for 14 hours, and it was a blast, but, uh, not the first time I've done a marathon run, certainly won't be the last time that I do something like that, because, like, I don't know, I, I feel like I have the opportunity to, if I play that game all day long, it's like, it's like my homage to it. It's like showing my appreciation for how much I love this game to the point where I would take an entire day just re-experiencing it all over again. The, a gl the glory of this game which I so cherished. I guess I'd do something like that for like a Pokemon game too, but like I can't, I don't, I personally don't think I would have the wherewithal to get all the way to the end of a Pokemon game in a single day. I recall like Elite Four type stuff taking a very long time, for me at least. Um, I was never... I would never say, let me like, I, I say this, like, I was never super good at video games. Um, and when I say that, I mean like, um, I was never, I was never like, um, what's the term I'm looking for? Like, I was never super duper meticulous, meticulous about my video games. For example, like, I play, the Pokemon that I had in my Pokemon party were not trying to like min-max or perfect IVs or anything like that. I just had the ones that were the highest level at the time, and that I thought, think looked cool and had the coolest attacks. That's my, that was always my party. But, like, I'd always kind of wanted to look into that stuff, but, you know, I don't really know. Have we startled you? Oh, talking apes! Hell is talking apes! We still have an accent after all these years. Run for your lives! Run? Wait! Who says, oh, you're an old dude, aren't you? You lived for 65 billion years? Are you truly talking apes? You're a rude one, aren't you? Aren't you? No, we're not apes, we're humans. I see, so the legend was true after all. What do you mean, Edda? There's a most ancient legend. Long ago, hordes of vicious monsters bred upon our village, threatening to destroy our people entirely. But just when hope was lost, the most unusual of heroes appeared. Talking ape? Talking apes? None other. 
In no time at all, they drove the monsters away and saved the village from an absolute calamity. No, those apes are the heroes from Legends. I believe they may well be. Yes, sorry, I was talking to the youngster, not myself. Pardon me for being so forward, but might we contract your assistance? Contract. I would propose a contract by which we would reward you for your aid on certain tasks and errands which we cannot do ourselves. If you have the strength you seem to have, I think you'd find it a profitable proposition. What do you say? I'm trying to go the Johnny Depp route with my with my accent. I, I hope it's appreciated. It's to the point where you can barely understand what the guy's saying. That's on purpose. Agree to have the reptiles? Yeah! Then we are agreed. If it's not too sudden, I'd have a task for you already. The monsters in the wood beyond have begun growing in number of late. Would you vanquish them for us, fiery brave heroes? What mean vanquish? Mean eat? Can eat monster. Very good. And walks away. Whatever, dude. Um, so does anybody else have, uh, a thing with stuff? I noticed the golden tree in the Millennia Wood was gone when I went exploring not long ago. Cut down by ogans, no doubt. They're always felling trees to craft those hammers of theirs. Aww, that means I'm in the wrong time period. If you ever happen to find some Lumisite, would you bring it to me? I'll craft you some fine armor from it. I've been a smith for a great many years. I don't have any of that, do I? No. No, I do not. I'll save. Nope, I'll save. Save. You never know when you might need a good save happening. Let's go down here and what's in the cave? There's nobody in the cave. What about you? I've been thinking of taking a walk in the mountains. You should go too. No. I don't wanna. I might. That neighbor of mine loves to build things almost as much as he loves to tell me about it. Hasn't he anyone to boils to bother all day? Bother? 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 Spend my lifelong dream to build a great bridge in the span of the mountains. I'll do it just watch. That guy was special. I want to build something that will last for future generations to use, like a ladder. Incredible, aren't they, ladders? I always wonder who built them and when. Yes, ladders are incredible. Especially ladders that apparently last 65 billion years. Or 65 million years. Absolutely incredible. Um, I'll talk to you in a hot second. Uh, you know what? No, I'm absolutely going to talk to you now. Hello, sir. We're counting on you to clear the wooden monsters. Oh, is that all? Okay, I'm just going to kick some ass. Kick some ass and chew some gum. Kick some butt, chew some... Oh, I need to heal. Did not do... Oh, wait. Somebody's got the in up here, probably. In for generations. In, 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 in Unless they have three. That'd be pretty monstrous. Hello. Oh, you're the same stupidos as before. Time to kill you all. I have to kill them all. I will kill all of the titans. Are you guys stronger than before or just as stupid as before? I have my doubts. Uh, I'm not close enough. To oh, oh, maybe I'm close enough now. At least three of them. Cool. We'll see how that goes uh, as we attack them with all of the attacks. Oh, am I supposed to... Oh, I didn't realize I didn't click the button. There we go. Laser time. Sometimes I just gotta get lost in the music, you know? Sometimes you just gotta get lost in the music. Lost in the music as we beat the ever-loving life out of these... Tiny blue goblin things. An incredible experience for all those who were involved. If you've never quite reached the climax of mentality while just completely beaten on a small creature, you don't know what you're talking about. And I mean beating with your fists, not beating in any other sense of the word. We're not trying to make things weird around here. We're just trying to make things... We've definitely made things weird already. And for that, I apologize. Let's let's move on with our lives, shall we? Dude, Shelter! Shelter! Ooh. I'm trying to think. I don't remember when that, um... Oh, you know what I remembered? Uh, I remembered about, um... A comment I had about the, um... The new... The new Pokemon games and their titles. I'm telling you. All they needed to do was Shining Diamond and Brilliant Pearl. And we would have had an unintentional JoJo reference there. Or potentially an intent... A totally intentional JoJo reference, which I, for one, would have totally appreciated. Um, it will always forever be, I think, Pokemon Shining Diamond. 
and brilliant. You know what? Actually, for that reason, I'm gonna wind up getting diamond. Not just because like I had diamond originally, um, because I like Dialga better than Palkia. I like Dialga better than Palkia because honestly, if I had to choose between space and time, I'd go with time. Time was always a cooler thing. Plus, it's a big blue dinosaur. Like, how could you not? I also remember too, the original games came with like these styluses that had like, like little, uh, little, little, um. Figures, uh, figures of the uh, the legendaries on the end of it, and I remember absolutely loving that. And we, like, my brother had a little uh, Palkia pen stylus, and I had a little Dialga pen. It was so cool. I don't think they ever came out with a Giratina one um, for Platinum. Um, I think we wound up pre-ordering Platinum two copies of Platinum. That was the first time like a third gen, like a number three Pokemon game came out where my brother and I both wanted it so badly that my mother had to buy two, and we both played the shit out of our copies, so it was all good. I honestly wound up working better like that. Let's potion ourselves. We got plenty of high potions now, so boop on, boop on, and then use some of my mid potion. There we go. Cool. Um, but I definitely look forward to doing stuff like that. I wonder. I want to say it was Sino you know it was definitely the Sinnoh region when they had the um, it was the the underground. I miss the underground. I remember doing like the underground stuff like a ton when I was younger, like. A ton, like literally in the hallways of in the hallways of elementary school. Like otherwise, oh man, I love doing that. And the fact that like the thought that you could like you could find other players in the underground was like a really cool thing at the time. But then again, all that type of stuff for like the DS was really cool at the time. Like um, was, it wasn't Flipnote, Flipnote Studio. There was Flipnote Studio, perhaps. Let's see. I want to see if I. Do let's see if I do like an ice iceberg toss. That's only one enemies in a circle. Nope. Spin kick. Throw an enemy around now. Okay. I'm gonna do ice attacks on all of them. And then shadow. I want to see if those jar things have a resistance. Just kidding. I'm just gonna keep going with it. And then I'm gonna punch at least one of them. Jackpot. Maybe if I defeat them quickly, I will get the jackpot. The monies. The moolahs, if you will. Oh, I got an itchy back. Sorry about that. I start stick my hand all the way down my back. Happens sometimes. They all get itchy back sometimes. At least I don't wind up getting like itchy butt on camera. That'd just be weird. Scratching your butt on camera. Come on. Not unless that was a part of the show. It's not a part of the show. In case I ever wind up doing so for whatever reason, it's not a part of the show. I do not scratch my butt for the sake of entertainment. Not my entertainment, nor, nor the entertainment of others. It's just not, not something that I pride myself on. To be fair, I'm sure there are better butt scratchers out there than I. I am not a very good butt scratcher. Therefore, I feel like there really, really be much of a show. And we try to put on a show around here, you know? We try to put on a good performance. Good fun, fun performances for anybody who wants to watch. And I, I don't think the scratching of the tukus is a part of that experience. Um, not for me, at least. Not in this show. No way. And I'm gonna beat you all up. Power of science. Science, science, and more science. Um, oh, oh, proximity bomb. I can only hit you. Rapid fire fist. If I also boulder toss you, you'll be dead. And if I, I guess, arise. I will not actually arise. I will ice you, though, because I think you're going to be dead. Oh, that's not lightning outside. Those are just people revving their engines. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Rev your engines good. <sighs> lovely. Lovely tea. Lovely, lovely tea. I'm gonna kick your butt. And then I'm gonna smack it. For your entertainment. Not for my own. I don't do that for fun. I, for one, aren't darn it. Actually, no. I would... You know what? I shouldn't smack your butt. I shouldn't smack the tukus of the enemies, because if I do, you're gonna take it like a good game type thing. I don't know if the good game, like, thing exists in, uh, this time period, although it very well might. No, like that. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Well, there's no tree. No shiny tree. Isla Grove. Why no here? Oh, hello, you. Because you chopped it down and made your hammer. Over there, that is the golden hammer. Oh my god, ow, whoops, 
Ow! I'm sorry, I just adjusted myself and my chair, and I just rolled my chair over my toe. And it is now in pain. Ouch. I'm sorry about that. It's the golden hammer! It's the golden hammer! The golden hammer! Golden hammer time! Okay, I'm gonna kick your butt. Wait! Wait! You're not British. Chase after him! Oh, I don't want to do this yet. Nice. He should still be around here. Let's go find him. Okay. Um, well... Yeah. I'll get him eventually. But first I'm gonna find what's in these. Mega Elixir! And you know what? Actually, the whole Mega Elixir thing just made me remember something. Um... I don't know if anybody remembers the game Spectrobes. I, for one, remember the game Spectrobes. It was like... You would get these little fossil things, and you'd try to... Or, not fossil things, but, like, you would get, like, little pieces of... No, I'm getting that mixed up with fossil fighters. Anyway, you would definitely be able to, like, find creatures out in the wild and, like, be make them, like, your friend or something like that, and level them up in different ways, and... I liked Spectros. Spectros was cool. They eventually... And I think that was for the DS or something. They also released a... I think a DS version of it. A, a, I'm sorry, a, uh, a Wii version of it. And I'm pretty sure... The Wii version was like kind of like an open world type thing. Turbo Ether, cool. Um, and I remember in that game, like the main way to heal yourself and your Spectrobes was using these rice balls. Various different levels of rice balls. You could have like um, regular rice ball, like I guess Miller rice ball or something like that. I don't remember what was in between. But what I, excuse me, what I do remember is that whenever we'd collect the rice balls, my brother and I would like, in a very joking manner, like, announce what the rice ball is so like like the different levels of rice balls but i'll have like different ways to shout about them like for example rice ball super rice ball ultra rice ball and then the top level be like the giga rice ball and i don't know why we did that but we, 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 kids kids am i right being being a child being somebody who doesn't have, a doesn't have to have a reason why we do things. Um, I wouldn't say I have much reason to do things nowadays. I just kind of do them because mm, it's fun. I do whatever I want because I'm cool. I live on the edge. And you know what I want to do? Play video games. So that's what I'm doing. I'm playing video games. Where'd this dude go? He's around here somewhere. Should I be like looking in the bushes or something? I don't- I don't know if I should have been looking in the bushes or something. Maybe I gotta defeat that enemy? Did I walk past the enemy? I might have walked past the enemy. I'm gonna check the bushes along the way. Bush? Bush? Hello? Bush? 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 I feel like I'm playing Fortnite or something with the bush. The bush is um, a way to conceal yourself in Fortnite. For anybody who doesn't already know what Fortnite is or how to play Fortnite, I've played Fortnite at least once. A couple times, actually. I think I bought the season pass one time because I was trying to play with my youngest brother. I just never did. Golden dude? Nah, no golden dude. Unfortunate. Oh, well. Uh, you're not the main character. I wanted you, and then... No, wait, what did you... Oh, I clicked the heal beam instead. Ugh. I don't want to do that one, but at least everybody will be healed. Thank you, Roy boy. Much appreciated. Much, much appreciated. Multiple of the blah blah blah. I'll fix you up. It's fine. You'll fix it. I guess just punch everybody now. Oh, don't have the opportunity to punch. Everybody's just too slow. Everybody's too slow. I'm the slow one. If Chrono were here. Actually, Ale is supposed to be really fast. I guess not as fast as these little guys. And then you're gonna shoot the other one, right? And that'll kill him? Ah, uh, not quite enough. Not quite enough there, pal. Sorry. My MP's looking alright, though. If I find this little golden guy. I'm guessing I have to defeat, defeat all the enemies, and I guess I just somehow miss these guys. To, uh, fight the golden dude. Golden! Golden wind! More JoJo references. Not unexpected. They're totally called for. I expect JoJo references to come out during these streams, because I like JoJo. It's a good game. G good game. Good, um... Anime. It's called an anime. Hey, what's up, golden dude? 
Oh, I knew you'd come out if I just tried to find you. Yeah, whack, whack, whack. I guess it's boss time. Um, I'm gonna boulder toss that. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna iceberg toss you. Oh, that would seem like it'd probably do a lot of damage. Um, yeah, you know what? Cure Roar Boy. There we go. Oh, that didn't do a lot. Weak against magical attacks. Oh, I can do the iceberg lettuce toss, or just the iceberg toss. There is no el there is no lettuce. I'm gonna wait for that to happen with Marley. There we go. Iceberg toss. There we go. And then you can um, it's magic based attack. So I have proximity bomb. Just do proximity bomb. It's fire attack damage. Oh, that was pretty good. Attack increase. Oh, wait, attack increase from that? The iceberg thing? That's cool. Or maybe the proximity bomb did that. Oh, yeah. You're dead now. Oh, attack increase. Oh, it's attack increase. That's not very good. Um, I am going to do that proximity bomb again. And then I am going to, yet again, do this. Um, you're still weak to other attacks, so. I'm going to seduce it. Yeah. Yo, what's going on, Shadow Codex? How are you? This fine, wonderful. It's evening for me. I'm not sure what it is for you, but... Oh, reduces HP to 1. That's not very cash money of you. What? No! Don't do that! Roy boy, I'm sorry! I'm gonna charm you. I'm going to seduce you. Nothing to give but gratitude. Absolute unfortunateness. You're gonna reduce my HP to 1 again? You're kidding me. How am I to survive that? Oh my god! Cure! One of them! Oh, you're- Oh, you're resting now. Okay. Okay, I, I can understand that, though. Uh, boulder toss, I guess. Um, you're gonna proximity bomb as well. Chrono Trigger reminds you of another game called Chrono Cross. Used to, used, to, used to play. When I was looking for the category to set for this game, I saw Chrono Cross. What is Chrono Cross, actually? I don't... I don't know what that game is. I know nothing about Chrono Cross. I've heard... I, I knew Chrono Trigger was like RPG. Um, but I'm curious about what Chrono Cross is. Is it also like an RPG type thing? I don't know. I'm curious about it. Because it came up while I was looking up Chrono Trigger, and I was like... Huh. I feel like that'd be something cool to know about. Okay, um, I'm gonna clear up Ayla this time. Because, um, oh, I can't use proximity bomb. Hmm. It is an RPG. Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna heal, I don't wanna heal. Okay, um, laser spin. Rocket punch. Let's do that. And then you can, oh, you're officially dead now. Unfo no, unfortunate, unfortunate. Oh, you're gonna kill me. Oh, that's not good. Let's do Athenian water on you so you can come back to life. Indeed, indeed, it is an RPG. Cool. I'm gonna add on my list of things to look into. Or, um, games to look into. Um, let's heal beam the both of us. That sounds good. You are gonna use Athenian water on a, uh, Marl to bring you back to life. Indeed. That's a good little heal for everybody. I don't know what you're gonna do, little monster man. Counterattack, stanch, disengage. Oh, counterattack? Is that what you were doing? Oh, I don't much appreciate that at all. But I can use Iceberg Toss, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, don't kill me. Nah. You can use your heal beam again. Oh, you're completely out of that. So, let's use your ether to restore... Oh, let's use the elixir. No. Um, Mega Elixir? Turbo Ether? Uh, I don't know what these are supposed to do. How do I heal... Mm. I wanted to try to heal MP to more than one ally. Oh, you're gonna die. Yep, you're dead. So, with the immune water... Ew. Very interesting. What is the premise of Chrono Cross, if I may ask? Is it, like, does it have a lot to do with time? Because this one has a lot to do with time. Very much so. What is Boogie? Stop. Inflict stop on all enemies. Yeah, Boogie. <laughs> it's dance time! Is that gonna do something? Uh, I don't think that stopped the enemy. It has a lot to do with time. Nice! <laughs> it's about time. Like that new, um... The new Crash game that came out. Um, I'm gonna cure you as well. Uh, Roar Boy, you are going to Proximity Bomb. Um, please don't hurt Marlet. Yeah, your attack is really high, aren't you? Uh, you are gonna... You don't have any magic on your own. So, you are going to... High potion, Marl, because that's that's good to do. It is still going. My God, this thing has a lot of it. Well, that'll help. That's no good for me. I'm gonna wait till I can iceberg toss again. I'm gonna let you heal beam if you're still alive. Uh, you were officially dead. So, but Chrono Cross battle system is complicated. So good, good luck. Nice. I'm gonna have to write that down when I get the opportunity to. I need something to write on. Uh, there is a way to pause. Pause. I'm gonna write that down. Chrono Chrono Cross. Going to cross on not something that has a note on it. I have some post notes that have notes on it, but the storyline is also good too. I'm okay with complicated battle systems. Chrono Cross RPG. And a link to, I'm gonna guess, the battle system or something Chrono Cross related. 
Oh, we did it. We killed him. Yes. That's a preview. Sweet. I'm going to take a snapshot of that. There we go. Links I can't so easily write down with pen and paper. However, I can snapshot it with my phone. Oh. We have, we have subdued him. We can take the golden hammer. Obtain the golden hammer. Nice. And we kill all the monsters. Nice. Chrono in some of the boss battles. Chrono's in some of the boss... Wait, is Chrono Cross related to Chrono Trigger? Or is it like two completely separate things? Because that'd be pretty awesome if they're related. And if they're not, then eh. Well, it still sounds like a fun time. That does sound very cool. I kind of like games that I like. I mean, I... Mm, I don't know. Two completely different games. Even better, then. Even better. I feel like... I like... I don't know. I was thinking to myself, like, would I have been more excited if it was related? Not really, I guess. I'm excited either way that there's something else that does like... I, I like to see... I, I very much like things that try to take on the concept of time because I feel like it's a very hard thing to do well. Um, I think this game does time pretty well. Uh, I think the anime Steins Gate, and I guess technically the game Steins Gate, does time really well. Um, Marvel... The Marvel movies, I thought, did time very oddly. I'm not a fan of the way that they did time. In terms of, like, how time travel works and all stuff like that. There's a certain way that I like it, and I can't really put it into words, but... Yeah, Marvel, I didn't like. But these other things, I did. Chrono, I like. We have vanquished the monsters, as promised. Elders, sir. You slew all of them! Heroes, indeed. Please, take this as your reward. Megalixer! Nice. I'm sure we'll have other tasks to request of you in the days to come. I hope we can count off your aid. Mm -hmm. Nice. Awesome, and now I can take... The golden hammer back to the other place awesome can i go down like i did before like there was an area to the south uh back in 65 million bc would i like to stay for the night i would love to stay for the night are we baking croissants do you have bed and breakfast actually when we go to gen con we'll be staying in a bed and breakfast for uh for the weekend and it's told me about she snagged us a room in a bed and breakfast which sounds absolutely lovely i don't think from what i recall i have not been to a bed and breakfast recently so it sounds really, sounds very nice. I like the idea of breakfast in the morning. Yes. Also, the animation for Chrono Cross is way different than Chrono Trigger. I will be surprised. I will be surprised? I'm going to hold you to that. Not that I have any feasible ways of keeping you accountable for it, but, but let's just say, let's just say, I'm going to hold you to that. Oh, what are these frog dudes going on right here? Don't mess me up. Oh, there's a little reptile over there. Nice. I'm going to try to avoid the... <gasps> Rats! What are you doing, rat? Don't take my don't take my money. Don't take my things. Oh, that's fine. Um, you guys look like you're fragile. Oh, what did you What did you do? What did you just do? You all seem very fragile. Ice? Fragile in like a I don't whoa. Oh, you sucked my health away from me, you vampiric little rodents. How do you feel about my ice powers? Apparently more or less indifferent. What about my fisticuffs? It's a dire rat. Oh my god, it's a dire rat. We have dire enemies in this game? Oh my god. Like dire wolves or dire bears or dire, dire pandas and crocodiles. I don't know. I think that's a D&D related thing. It very well could be a D&D related thing. Uh, can I open chest? To open chest, please? Open chest. Please open chest. Shelter. All right. I can go this way. Are you still guarding? Now, why would you have to guard like this? Just die already. You're still alive 65 million years later? Understandable, actually. Understandable. You are an interesting, interesting creature. Lapis. Nice. Lapis is good. Will I find anything other than the reptite back here? I, I assume I will not engage in combat with the reptite. Oh, I am apparently engaging in combat with the reptite. I bet it's a dire reptite, right? Of course it is. Of course it is. I am out of MP. Oh, wait. I don't have MP. Oh, these are the twin attacks. Right. Let's go after you. Um, Icy, 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 Bam, Bam. Laser Spinny Winnie. Spin, 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 spin. 890. Awesome. You like to see that? Very powerful. You have very powerful moves there, Dire Reptites. Who I keep wanting to call Dire Reptars just because Reptar from like. From like, um. The Rugrats, yeah. This is the second time I have thought of Rugrats on stream. Or maybe the third. You know what? I don't know. I've definitely... I think of things sometimes. 
Osmos. It steals HP. You're stealing away my HP via osmosis. Meaning, if you have... I have more HP than you, then it will flow into you. Incredible. Uh, I don't know. You can just hit one of them. Hit the exile. Oh, exile. You're in exile. Very interesting. Laser spin. Uh, Chora. Chora attack. Activate. I'm not sure if this will kill you. I hope it does. Kill. 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 Murder. Murder. Now, I, I like murder. And only when it is advantageous to me. And, uh, like, it, like murdering, like, nowadays is not advantageous to me. That will cause me to be arrested and jailed. That is not advantageous to me. But otherwise, murder's okay. Oh, and if murder has, like, a, like, if it has, like, a, like, um, like, a mental consequence, too, murder's also not okay. And I feel bad about murdering, therefore, I usually don't murder when given the opportunity to. In addition, the music to Chrono Cross is a masterpiece, and Shadow Codex can officially say, honestly say it's one of the favorite one of the favorite original RPG games and hope that they have a remastered version of it in the future. That sounds cool. I, for one, love to play games because of the music in them. Um, Chrono Trigger was kind of that. I've listened to a couple of music that I found on like Spotify for Chrono Trigger, and that was one of the ways, that, that was one of the reasons why I started playing it. I also knew like it was a very like influential game, um, and so I was like, that's another reason I want to play it. So that's why I played this one. I, actually, a lot of games that I play, I wind up playing for the music because I'm a, I'm a big music guy. I wouldn't say big, big. Some people are like diehard music people. I'm not a diehard music person. Like every waking moment is music, music, music all the time. Although I do listen to music a lot. Sometimes, all the time. I do listen to music all the time. Like when I'm doing work and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm a music fan. And if somebody wants to fight me on that, then, like, fight me, I guess. I, I like music. That's what makes me a music fan. Doesn it doesn't matter how much of the music I like. So long as I do the music. If, if you say, like, if you tell me that you are a fan of, like, bacon, because you like bacon, then yes, I would consider you a, band, a fan for bacon. If you say you're a bacon fanatic because you try to eat bacon, like, more so than other foods, I suppose that's your fanaticness. I would, I would agree with you. And so, I would not fight you on that. I, for one, have no place to be fighting people on their personal, like, 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 uh, what's the term? Preferences and stuff like that. Personal associations. Can I go up that way? I can go that way. I can go this way, too. Oh, it's the same cave as before. Interesting, but the lights aren't out. Hello, Froggy. Froggy time. Oh, there's more of them. They're spinning all out there. Hello, Exile. Exiles creatures from another dimension. Oh, I don't want to do that. Uh, I don't want to hit you. Uh, I'll admit the um the controller control is not as controlled. I think. Whoa, that was a lot of damage to that little froggy boy. A lot, a lot of damage. Like that. Oh yes. I'm gonna kill your friends, too. With the power of... Not science. The power of literally this woman's beefy arms and powerful everywhere else. She's super strong. She's very, very strong. Her muscles are bursting out of the sea at the seams. Some people are into that stuff. Good, good. Good, good, good. I mean, if you're comfortable. So long as you're comfortable. I don't think I'd be comfortable with that much body mass on me. Like, body mass in terms of, like, muscle. Muscle was a lot of body mass. I think more body mass... I want to say muscle is more body mass than fat would be. And for people who have that much body mass, my goodness. I don't think I could do it. I can go up this way, too. Can I actually go this way? It doesn't appear that I can go that way. Uh, can I? No, I definitely can't. But I can go back to the cave. We'll see if there's anything else in the cave. If the cave permission have changed over time. <gasps> More bats! Scary bats! Scary, scary bats! They all kind of look like... Little, like... They remind me of this, this toy of a spider that I had. Like a, a toy spider when I was younger. Um, it's still around the house somewhere, probably. Um, but it reminds me of that. Because it was like... It was like this that type of black color. And it was also like very, um... Very... Um... Like, squishy? Because it had like this 
like this gooey foam substance on the inside of it. I don't know what exactly was in there. Like, you could like put your fingers up against it and like push it out, and you could see like little beads on the inside. It was such a very, oh, such a very interesting texture. Like, I just, I don't know how to describe it. But those bats remind me of that particular spider toy. Oh, you all are powerful. Don't like that. No, I don't. Come on. Ayla! Y'all are moving so fast. You're all trying to confuse my characters. But you all miss. Uh, if you're still going. They're still going. They're, they're still doing this confusion dance over there. Whack! Are you dead now? Oh, thank goodness. Well, I think everyone should continue doing their part to just absolutely mess with these all. Uh, people lose. Let's cure... Cure two. Large amount of HP, two and alloy. Large amount versus moderate amount. Or do I not have, like, um... No, I guess I don't. I don't have, like, a... Mar ult doesn't have an ability. At least unlock it. Just... <laughs> do a little cure to everybody. As opposed to a big cure to one person. I know... Roy Boy's got that opportunity. And, um... I think Frogo does, too. I don't exactly remember. But we did it. It's dead. It's dead now. I gotta unlock this chest. What you got? Lapis. Oh, a bunch more exiles. Can I just not... Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore you, I guess. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'll just walk past you. I'll fight you on the way back. Are there still more squid monsters over here? These dudes kind of look like aliens. Um, I'm gonna try to go up here. Into this guy over here. To find a little chest over here. Steel ingot. Steel ingot. I think I need to take that back to somebody. But who? Instead of... Oh, it's all lit up in here. Nice. Oh, but it's all broken down. So I cannot proceed forward. Shucks. Alright, guess I'm going back. I know somebody would have wanted these steel ingots. I really don't want to fight you bats again. Oh, did I not have to? Oh. oh okay, I had to fight you bats. Not fun. Not the fun, my friend. I'm just gonna escape from this one. I really don't like fighting the baits. Get out. Get out. Out, 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 out. Escape. Escape who? Is that like... Oh, escape. Nice. Very good, very good, very good. Let us continue. Um, I have the iron ingot. Somebody had said, bring me, like, powerful metal, and I'll forge you a good weapon. Or, like, bring me, like, powerful, uh, something, and I'll forge you, like, good armor or something like that. I think somebody said that in this time period, in this village, so I'm gonna... No, stupid rates! I don't want it. I don't want it! I don't want it! I don't want it! I'm not trying to grind this time. I'm not trying to grind. Osmos. I will osmose you. I guess, like, if osmosis is the noun, to osmose would be the verb? I guess? Never quite thought of it that way, to be honest. Okay. Who said... You said something about, I think, Marma, right? We're having to find some Lumisite. Uh, I definitely don't have Lumisite. I have the Steel Ingot. What can I use that for? This arm Steel Ingot is around here. Steel Ingot? Nope. Okay, I... It doesn't tell me what it do. I got all this stuff. The Chrono Trigger. Nice. Forgot that was the name namesake of the game. Forgot we had that. But... Stealing it. Okie dokie. Um, Mr. Old Reptite. Dude, Reptar. Do you have any other tasks for me before I go? Oh, what brings you up here? This is our village sanctuary, but entries are forbidden. Okay. Bye then. Guess I'm just gonna go elsewhere. Peace out, Girl Scout. Bye bye. I'm just gonna go back in time then, if I'm not welcome here. Would you like to leave? Yes. Was I prompted last time before I left? I feel like that wasn't something that I was prompted on. Huh. Interesting. Well, time to go back into the chip. Yeah. Time to go to another time period. Back to prehistory. 65 million years ago. In a galaxy far too close to home. And can I land? Can I click the A button? Span the A button to land. Yes, thank you. Now I can go back to the Lost Sanctum. I can give them the hammer. And then ask if any of them want a piece of steel. I don't- I know not who would want the piece of steel. Piece of steel? 
Uh, no. Piece of steel. Rusted blade. Bring it to me. Uh, no. Nope. No rusted blade. Sorry, sir. Um, looking for the golden hammer, you say? Well, there's a patch of golden sand on that. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I took, uh, I talked to you. Oh, my! This is it! The golden hammer of legend! Won't you give it to me? I will make it well worth your while. I don't... No. Hold on. No, not yet. No, no, no. It was a key item. Yeah, no, no. I'm gonna give you the golden hammer. Here you go. Thank you ever so much. Please take this in return. Should I have saved before? I got 100,000 G. You know what? I have nothing. I have nothing else to think about. So, I will go for it. That element is as glorious as the legends say. Could I have done something else with that golden hammer? Instead of just exchanging it for money. Money is, money is temporary. But items are forever. Okay, well, it doesn't seem like all of these, any of these guys have anything else to tell me. Um, tired, feel rested. I will rest in your home. I will do that. I'm going to talk to, I already talked to Village Chief. And that wasn't anything of use to me. How did I sleep? Just fine. Fine and dandy. Um, I don't know if there was anything to do up in this particular location. I wonder if I go to other time periods, if I will be able to find more things in this location. Um, I know at least in the, um, maybe in the Age of Antiquity, there is going to be one of those special pyramid thingies that I can gain very, very good items from, or I can pick one of the other items from, I think. I, I should wonder if there will be more for that. It's possible there would be. It's possible there won't be, honestly. Let's see what happens in antiquity. Antiquity. Antiquity, that's the, um... The Kingdom of Zeal! Oh, is that... Oh, that must be up in the air, then. Uh, what is it in this cave? What's this? The Sun Shrine. Oh, the Sun Shrine. This is where I would put the stone if I had it. Um, or this is where I found the stone. I want to leave it... Wait, don't I have... I needed to leave something here for, like, a lot of years, but apparently it's not exactly relevant right now, so. Okay. Well, where else is there that I can go in the age of it? Actually, I want to see other timelines. I want to see other places first. Um, so let's go to the present, I suppose. I might find the same pyramidal thing. Ah, there's the pyramidal thing. And I think I already unlocked it, right? Yeah, pretty sure I already... Forest Ruins? Yeah, I, I already unlocked that. Right? Yep, already unlocked. I wonder if there are more of those around that I just haven't found yet. That's pretty cool, honestly. Is there any way that I can go now? Now I can fly around the present day to places I've never been before. Um, I've been around here before. Oh, no, I haven't. Wait a minute, where is this place? Oh, hello. This is an island I'm not familiar with. I am I? What is this? West Cape. Cape? R.I.P. in peace. Here lies the great explorer, Toma Levine, six of third moon, 634. <laughs> You're dead. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sure you were a wonderful adventurer. I uh, can't go there. What about here? Mayor's Manor? There's a mayor over here too? Of course there is. Hello, everybody. Oh, you're thinking of visiting those ruins? I'd stay away if I were you. These, they're quite dangerous with, with all the structural damage on the ground. They say ghosts lurk in the ruins to the north. Have you heard? Talk has it these ruins to the north are haunted. Seems there has been ghost sightings. Has there been? Has there really been? Oh, how dreadful! Spirits with lingering worldly attachments are drawn to those sorts of places. Are they? Do you have any special boxes upstairs? By chance? The anguish of torment spirits forms of almost tangible cloud around the ruins to the north. Very scary. Ah, the black omen shines in the sun. Tomorrow should be a beautiful day as well. The black... Black omen? Excuse me? Wait. No? No, 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 black omen. Do you... Do, do you see the black omen somewhere? Do you see the black omen? I don't see the black omen. Is the black omen in this time period too? I certainly hope not. That's evil. I don't see it. So I don't know what you're talking about, sir, but, uh, don't scare me again. Residence. 
All my husband does is sit at the tavern all day, nursing drinks. Well, just wait till he comes home. He'll be nursing a sore jaw then. I'm going to punch him in the face. That's the implication. When I grow up, I'll be a carpenter just like my dad. Hopefully that's all like your father you will be, and not a drunken failure. Let's go find your dad at the, at the thing. Are you the boy's father? Bring me another mug! Sir, I think you've had quite enough already. Who are you to tell me what I've had enough? You're worse than the wife that's around with a carpenter having a few pints in the afternoon, eh? Um, do you, don't you build houses? Shouldn't you do that sober? Have you heard about the ghost, I mean? No, um, no, I haven't heard about the ghost. Tell me more. They say a ghostly night haunts the northern ruins. Scary, eh? Sends chills down my spine just to think of it. That's all you had? No, like, long drawn out story about how it brings tourists in? All the youngins are off at the Millennium Fair. Kids these days, they're just gluttons for fun. I, I would imagine so. I like fun. I, I like to do fun things. The grave of the great explorer Tom is on the Western Cape, even if he never missed managed to find the treasure known as the Rainbow Shell. The Rainbow Shell? Like, like, from Dragon Tales? Not the single sale yet, and I came all the way from poor. Please, won't you buy something? Uh, I'll be the first to buy three potions from you. There you go, my friend. You're welcome. Bye-bye, sir. Am I healed? I am healed. I haven't talked to the barkeep yet. Barkeep! Welcome! Yes! Thank you! I feel welcome now! Well, I guess I'm gonna go up here then. The Northern Ruins. Oh, feels pretty haunted. What if I fight the enemies? Are you an enemy? Okay, I guess we're fighting then. Let's see how much of good, uh, oh, Iceberg Toss does to ya. How about a little, uh, Proximity bomb? Am I not close enough for a proximity bomb? I am not close enough for a proximity bomb. How about rapid fire fist? Did that do a lot of damage? That did no damage whatsoever. How about uh, fisty cups? Missed. Okay. I am not feeling very happy about this right now. Not tailspin. Let's try boulder toss. And um, I don't think magic works on you, so I'm going to attempt to confuse you. That missed. All right, I'm just gonna regularly attack you and see if I could ever punch it. Nope, that missed as well. Oh, cause you're a ghost, right? It's cause you're a ghost. This must be the implication. I cannot escape. I am unable to damage it. Len? Len, like somebody's name perhaps? All right, I will not bother you anymore then, sir. I will try to, Oh. Guess I'm not exploring the northern ruins. Can't fight the monster. Cannot fight the monster who reigns here, so I will have to go elsewhere. Unless, perhaps, I can go here at another time period, like the Middle Ages, before everybody died. But I think the Middle Ages take place sometime in the, thou in the year 1000 or something like that, so I think this this uh, great enemy or whatever is still dead. Um, actually, can I? Can I go here? Into this forest? Oh, there's an island over here. Interesting. Is there anything over here? No? Alright. That's fine. That's fine. I also wonder, too, about, like, games like this that have, like, the the large, like, map like this. If there are any, like, secret areas that I would know- that I wouldn't know about unless I were to explore. That always amused me about- apparently, I, I think Final Fantasy VII was like that. It had a world map kind of like that, like an overworld map that you could, like- If you go around enough, you'll find, like, secret places to go. Um, I've always been interested in that. But I never played Final Fantasy VII. I gave my story about Final Fantasy VII. For some reason, like, the Steam version of it does not, like, do how the black omen shines in the sun. Even a thousand years later, sure. tomorrow should be a beautiful day as well. The black omen? What are you talking about? Bro. There's something eerie about those ruins to the north. Okay. Does everybody just... Everybody has been talking about this for a thousand years? About how creepy that place is? Alright. Sure. I doubt that. Hi, everybody. You all look the same. We're only carpenters apprentices. Our master's at the tavern. Oh my god. <laughs> We're only Carpenter's Apprentices. Our master's at the tavern. We're only Carpenter's Apprentices. Our master's at the tavern. We're only Carpenter's Apprentices. 
our masters at the tavern. Well, way to sell yourselves short, guys. I think you were much more than just carpenter's apprentices. Hello, sir. Robbed of my carpentry tools. How am I to work without my tools? Oh, Toma. With that, you'd stay here for a bit longer. Oh, Toma was the, the explorer. Ah, oh, well met, Roy! I finally stumbled upon a hint as to the whereabouts of the rainbow shell. Is this something that I should already be familiar with? Apparently it is. Uh, rainbow shell. Still, I can't shake the feeling that things will go sour this time. I fear my luck may have finally run out. Say, would you mind holding on to this for me? Thomas Spirits? Should the worst befall me, it would mean a lot to me if you'd pour that over my headstone. A touch more of it, I know, but I beg you. I am about to go a thousand years in the future to do that. About ten years ago, the beast was seen dragging something in the northern ruins. It was talking may have been some sort of treasure, but no one really knows what's going on. Let's go check it out. Huh, let's go check it out! I want to know. Northern Ruins? Is the monster there? Oh, the monster's not there anymore. Is it still broken down? It is still broken down. But can I proceed around the corner? Oh, hello, everybody. Tiny little knights! They're tiny little knights! Let's fight. Um... I'll spin the both of them. Uh, proximity bomb. And then ice too. See if we can, uh, what kind of stuff we can get on that. I did quite a bit of damagi. Did quite a bit of damagi. My hair right now. It's itching my face. It's itching my face, man. It's itching my face. And my ears specifically, which I guess are my ears considered part of my face? I don't know. Nice. Ether. Very good. More enemies lie ahead. Two more little tiny ones. Hello, little tiny ones. I am going to destroy all of you. I'll try ice and... Uh, I can still proximity bomb them. Excellent. How's ice doing on these guys? Nice. Oh, but I can't proceed forward because there's a big old crack on the floor. Shucks. MP Buster steals MP. Oh, really? I, I couldn't have realized. Are you dead? Oh, you're dead. Nice. Well, I can't go up the steps, so I guess I'm not getting anywhere here either. Time to go back to the future and, um... But, oh, excuse me. Oh, there's more of them! More fun for the whole family. Okay, let's do, um... Oh, am I really out of MP? There's no way that I am. I'm actually out of MP. Okay, cool. Uh, I guess we're using ice then. And then we're gonna use, um... Twin charm, can't do spin tick, can't do boogie, because we ain't got no MP. I definitely have MP here. Let's do Tailspin. Try to get as much of them as we can. And then you guy, you guy who guy over there, and then more ice. Grudge. And now what do you, what you got a grudge for? You haven't really known him for that, for that long. Oh, that's, oh, please don't continue grudging me. I very much don't like the grudge. Oh, when you die, you get the grudge. Interesting. Are you gonna die? Oh, you missed. Cool. Oh, you're icing attack. I, I did not realize, well, I guess that'll kill you too, right? Maybe? Oh. MP st- Whoa, health steal. Are you gonna die though? Oh, it's still happening. Oh my god, what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Oh my god, stop that! Oh my god, ice, ice attack, die. Holy craps. I probably should've healed myself. That's not gonna work. Uh oh, nope, that's the end of my party time. No, I could have used it on myself. I was so close, and now I am dead. Uh, let's see where I can resume at. Time egg, I... Yeah, alright. I'm back here again. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to... Fight these two guys, then fight the other two guys, then fight the four with full MP this time. So we'll, uh, laser spun, and then ice. Ice powers activate! Honestly, I'm really in the mood for a cocktail. Like, really in the mood for a cocktail. I'm thinking, thinking about, thinking about making one at some point. 
I've been kind of back into them recently. I don't know, for a while I was kind of out of it. Just really wasn't in the mood. But um, now I'm like, oh my god, Roy's almost dead. Jeez. These guys are powerful little numbers. All right, bye-bye then. I kind of want to make one. I'm going to look through my books and see what I got. I might be a, I might be a, a simple kind of simple kind of cocktail day. I'll go through my black book and see if I can find something in there. Just something to really quickly whip up. As so as to not take too much time. Uh, la 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 High potion. High potion. Yeah. Oh, you have absolutely no MP. Um, Kayla. So let's use a mid ether on you. Just to give you enough for the next battle. And then we'll really fill you up for the next one. I guess I'll figure out what's going on in this uh, spooky area. Then I'll do my cocktail, and then we'll continue with it. That's what I'll do. That's what I'll do, that's what I'll do. And then Roy Boy, attack. Laser spin. If we all attack at once, I think we'll be okay. Nobody will die. Nobody will, I mean, you'll die, because you're ghosty ghosts. But really, have you actually died? Maybe not. Now, let's heal people's is up. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use Marl's Cures to cure you and yourself and yourself. Now you're a little low on MP, so is a couple other people, so let's inventor inventory. Mid ether you and you and you a couple times. Perfection then. Hopefully this works out well this time, and I won't have all of my everything taken from me. As it was so rudely done before. Tailspin, I'll attack you. Oh, laser spin, let's do that. And then ice attack. This is a good, this is a good little strategy I got going on here, I think. It was a good strategy. Oh, yeah. Um, although, you're already really low on health again. Um, um, Ava. Wow, incredible. Maybe physical attacks get recoiled. Maybe that's what's going on here. I don't know. You guys are dead, so that's nice. Oh, you're being sucked up now. Not fun. This is gonna keep on going, won't it? Please don't continue doing that. Well, I gotta keep on going, so I'm gonna keep on doing that. Yeah, go and kick one of them. Kick one real good. Oh, you missed! Oh, that's not fun. Not very fun at all. Okay, that's good. Please don't do that. <laughs> Please do not do that. You gotta kill my Roy boy. Don't kill my Roy boy. Heal beam. Heal us all. Heal us all, Roy boy. Are you dead now? Oh, you healed a lot, I guess, so I guess not. I, I probably should have used the, uh, probably should have used the all-round attack again. We'll see. I wonder if the physical attacks just don't do anything. It's only that, um, magic ones. I wonder. Can't tell. Oh, did that do anything? Oh my god, I couldn't touch them because they're ghosts. Laser spin? Oh, you're not gonna survive that, won't you? Nope. Um, dealing with one of them is better than dealing with two of them. So if we can both do this attack together and hopefully not miss, that'd be cool. It'd be really, really Gucci. Oh, I hit the both of them. Oh, lovely. You're still alive? Oh, but grudge, that's what happens before you die, right? Yeah. That. Okay, I got, I got, a, little, got a little worried there. To be honest, there. Awesome. Got some G. Now, I do want to heal my party members before I head back, because I got a funny feeling. Funny, funny feeling. that I'm going to need to be full healed again as I make my way out of here. So let's cure them all. There we go. Um, MP's looking just fine. It's, it's okay. There's a possibility nobody else will show up. Who's at the front door? Anybody at the front door? Is there anybody at the front door? Can I go upstairs now? Is there a ghost-like bridge? No? Okay, just hard enemies. It's a haunted house. I go one way and nothing attacks me. I come back the other way and then things attack me. All right, well, guess I'm not doing with that. Um, I am gonna go sprinkle some ashes, so to speak. Um, sprinkle my ashes and in, in, in the present day. In the meantime, I'm going to flip through my cocktail book and see if I open up to a random recipe and see if there's something that I can't make today. I see... That's a little complicated. I don't want to do that. Uh, I see... Grenadine coffee. That's a lot of things there. Apricot brandy. Char brandy. Blackberry brandy. I don't got blackberry brandy. Uh, I do I? No, I don't have uh, Genivka. Genivka's the blackberry brandy. They're like, eh, I, I didn't find one on that page. 
So I will continue with a little bit of chrono until I do find one. West Cape. I'm gonna sprinkle the ashes. Ashes. Here lies the great explorer. Sprinkle ashes. I'm gonna let you guys do that. Let's see. Red wine cooler. I don't have red wine. Reverse. The, oh, the Reverend. Ret butter. Soco. Curacao. Lime juice. Lemon juice. <gasps> it's the spirit of Toma! Roy. It's been many a day. I located the rainbow shell, as it were. Where is it? To the northwest of this cape is a large island called the Giant's Claw. The shell is there. Nice. All right. Very good. But beware. There are droves of monsters to put in there. Well, then, I believe this is farewell. Bye-bye, dude. I just kind of floated away. Very good. God, there truly is no drink so fine as one shared in the company of friends like you. All the best to you. Oh, spirits. Yeah, like like alcohol. Yeah, because you, you drink a lot as an explorer. Nice. Very good, then. I'm going to try to stay at this... Oh, I don't think I could stay at that inn in particular. Could I stay at this inn? I don't remember if I could or not. I'm going to try to. Inn? Inn. Stay the night? Yes. I'll do that. Let's go. Uh, rendezvous. Jin, Kirschwasser, and Campari. Actually, I don't have a lot of um, recipes that use Kirschwasser. I like that one. That's going to be a very boozy forward drink. That is what I'm going to do. Um, I will be back in a hot second while I take a quick break. Uh, when I do that, I'm going to grab some ingredients for a cocktail, and we'll be back with that in a moment when we rendezvous. Peace out, everybody. Until then, when we come back, it'll be a cocktail time. And welcome back, everybody, to Chrono Trigger. We're taking a small little break while I make myself a cocktail to continue the rest of the play. I actually made, right before I came back on, allow me to put on the screen a little bit. Hi, there's my face. It's my face here, everybody. I'm going to add a little, little, uh, little image here to showcase that it is cocktail time. Cocktail. I completely misspelled that source in OBS. Just to denote that it is indeed cocktail time here again we'll put that down there yeah that seems pretty good how's that yeah cocktail time be cool if that kind of like swings in like and now time for whoosh, cocktail time it swings on in like that i like that <laughs> i think it's cool whoosh cocktail time i'm liking that today's recipe because i just picked it out of my book is called the rendezvous i know it's the rendezvous because it was in my book i don't know where my book went uh, excuse me, probably left it on the counter. Silly me. Um, here's my book. It was on the counter. Again. <laughs> Silly moi. Silly moi indeed. So we're gonna make the rendezvous today. And the rendezvous is made with gin, uh, campari, and kirschwasser. So, in particular, I, ha I bought this kirschwasser a little bit ago. So kirschwasser is a German spirit made, uh, distilled from the cherry, the, the Black Forest cherries from the Black Forest over in Germany. And it's a spe it's actually not considered, uh, I learned, um, from a little cocktail trivia game that I had. This is my cocktail trivia game that I picked up at a thrift store. Hold on one moment. This is my cocktail trivia game I found at the thrift store. But apparently, um, that is not a liqueur of the sort. It's considered something called an eau de vie, uh, which is spelled like E A U hyphen d-i-e hyphen o de o de I, I can't spell that o de v that's how you pronounce it apparently um because it's like and i, I don't know exactly what the difference is between like a brandy or like an o de v because uh, it's distilled from fruit i think that's a basic definition i don't really know but kirschwasser in german to, to my knowledge about translates to uh, cherry water so and, and I, uh, it's just one of the things that I mentioned, I'd found in this book of mine many, many times, and I never had it, and then a couple, about a month ago, I picked it up, so that's what I'm going with. Um, yeah, so I'm going to use that in my recipe. Uh, yeah, I've already pre-filled my shaker up with ice, so there's no time to waste on that. The first ingredient is one and a half ounces of gin. I've got my brokers, which I had as well the other night. Got one and a half ounces of that. I'm gonna put that in my cup. Is it a okay location? Yeah, it's looking good. I'll move that closer to the camera so it's a little, a little easier to see. I like that. There we go. We'll put one and a half ounces of that in my shaker. 
because we've got the beautiful Chrono Trigger music in the background. We're at a tavern, so it makes sense that we're uh, making some cocktails for our patrons. Uh, in addition to that, we're going to add a half of ounce of this Kirschwasser. I've got, uh, that's the brand here, Schlater, uh, Schlatterer. Schlatterer or Schlaterer? Uh, Schlaterer. Let me get Schlaterer. Because, like, in German, if it was Schlaterer, it'd have, like, the little, little umlauts over the top. Alfred Schlaterer. Schwarzwald, Schwarzwalder, Hausbrenner. Something. I tried my best there. It's been a while since I've taken my German classes. Let's do a half ounce of Kirschwasser. Put that in there. That's about a half an ounce. Um, I also need a glass. I have to grab myself a glass. I, only pre I can only prepare for so much. And then we're gonna have half an ounce of Campari. As per usual, I'm using Campari brand. Campari, is there really any other? I don't really know. Second time I've used um, gin and Campari this week. Oh, I need half an ounce. I poured. There we go. Second time. Yeah, second time that I've been using my Campari and gin. Because the other day, I made a Negroni, which calls for Campari and gin. And this is a Rendezvous, which calls also Campari and gin. Uh, we're gonna shake that. I'm gonna get the rest of that in there. Uh, I'm gonna shake it. I'm gonna shake it, shake it, shake it. Where's my top? There's my top. And while I shake it, I'm gonna go grab a glass for myself because I really don't have it. Just listen to the distance. I'll be back in a hot second. I promise. Here I come. Um, glass. Shake it, shake it, shake it. There we go. There's my glass. My glasses are not very too far away. It's okay. It's okay. So now, let us try the rendezvous. My shaker has gotten nice and frosty, so I know it's pretty good. And this one has the thing on the top. Oh my god, it's a nice blue color. Must be from the um, must be from the Campari and all the bubbles. It's cool looking. I like that color. Oh, it's directly in the shadow of my. It's directly in the shadow of my microphone. There we go. Maybe. Mm. If you forgot, eventually I will come up with better camera angles for this. I just don't have a good one right now because it's a it's an impromptu impromptu cocktail time. And so with this, we will also garnish it with an orange twist. Um, I'm not really good at making twists, but, you know, there's always time to practice. Uh, it says orange? No, lemon twist. Not orange twist. Did I say orange? I meant lemon. Because I have a lemon. Uh, if I if I meant orange twist and then had a lemon, uh, well, whatever. Uh, all I'm gonna do for that is just gonna... For my... Wow, that is really bright on the lemon. If I put that up... There we go. It auto-readjusts. My camera kind of sucks, too, but... What we got... Okay, wow, you do not want to... want to cut, do you? Oh, this is a tough lemon to peel. Oh my goodness. This is a really tough lemon to peel. Holy crap. Wow, that is not coming off at all. Am I doing this wrong? Don't think I'm doing this wrong. Oh my god. There we go. There we go. This side feels better. Yeah, there we go. I don't know. It's a lemon twist, so I'm going to take a uh, big a piece of this off if I, as I can. This might be all I'm getting out of that. Sorry, I keep going away from the camera. I don't really want to get all this lemon oil <laughs> expressed all over my computer. Maybe this is a bad place to do this going forward. Eh, whatever. Whatever. Anyways, let's put that in there. All right. And now I'm going to garnish this with a little twist here. Here we go. I'm just going to twist that up as much as I possibly can and just kind of drop that in. And that's our... That's our rendezvous. The rendezvous is... I don't exactly know, to be honest. That came out twice. Oh, that is. That's fine. That's fine. All right. So this is the rendezvous. It's a nice little pink color. Uh, it's got a little lemon, uh, lemon twist in there. And to wrap up, it was one half ounce gin, half an ounce of Kirschwasser, and half an ounce of Campari. I'm going to very quickly put my camera back in the correct place. Hello again, everybody. Hello again. I'm gonna turn my lights all the way down because you're not trying to make me look like a ghost, like the people in the manor. There we go. 36 is, I think, where I had it out. Cheers to everybody following along, if you're following along. This is the rendezvous. It's very pink looking. It's got a little swirly lemon in there. It smells very powerful of the Kirschwasser, I think. Because I, I want to say, I want to smell of something different. Honestly, it smells a lot like the lemon and the Kirschwasser. Um, it doesn't really smell like gin. It doesn't really smell like Campari, but I don't think gin really... I mean, gin has a bit of a smell to it. Um... I think it gets lost in comparison to the Kirschwasser, at least on the nose. And that, uh, Kirschwasser kind of smells a little, um, I, I want to say cherry-y, but honestly, I think Kirschwasser smells more like, like a, like woody cherry, as opposed to, like, 
squeezing a cherry in your face. Not like squeezing a cherry in your face. Kind of like, like, um, I guess if you were to wood chip the seed of a cherry. Like a bunch of wood chips of cherry seed is how I would describe that smell. And I don't exactly know where I get that from. I've never actually wood chipped a cherry before, but uh, that's what I would get. Cheers, let's give it a shot. It's very potent on the Kirschwasser, which does come across very, very cherry-y. Not like, not like cherry-y, like, let's say, like a cherry dum-dum. Cherry more like, if you've ever had um, maraschino liqueur, maraschino, the maraschino cherries, it tastes like, and I'm talking like real maraschino cherries, like, like cherries that have been left to absorb the alcohols in maraschino liqueur, hence the maraschino part of the maraschino cherry, the Luxardo maraschino, or if there are other maraschino liqueurs out there, I don't, I don't know what they are. I don't really know. Um, but it smells very much like that type of cherry. If you've ever had that before, that's the type of cherry I'm talking about. And that one I would describe more doesn't smell like the flesh of the cherry. It smells like the inside, like the inside, like the wood of the cherry. Not like a stem has some smell, or if the seed has a smell, I can't say for sure. I've never stuck one up my nose, because I feel like if I did stick one up my nose, I'd be sent to the hospital, because it would be stuck up there, and I'd make a ter terrible, terrible mistake. But it's, it's, it's got that cherry flavor to it. In addition, honestly, Campari to me is rather bitter, but I think the bitterness subsides with this. And it's actually, like, it's not even too, too bitter. There's much bitterer things out there than Campari. It's like a sweet bitter. More on the bitter than the sweet, in my opinion, but... Yeah. Very, very pleasant. It's very much that Kirschwasser. I know I can't really drink Kirschwasser straight, so... Whatever else the gin and the Campari is doing in there is making it more palatable for at least my flavor palette. It's nice. And it's got those, like, floral floral notes to it as well. Like, I can't determine which flower. Uh, but I'm just going to chalk that up to the gin and then the bitterness to it, to the Campari. It's possible that the Kirschwasser also has some floral notes to it, um, but I haven't tried it enough to really know for sure that that's where it's coming from. My only guess, it's only got gin, Campari, and Kirschwasser in it, so I would think it's... It's the gin doing the floral notes, the Kirschwasser doing the cherry notes, and the bitter, bitter orange there is the Campari. And then the smell, of course, it smells like lemon because you kind of express the lemons all over the place. I'm sure I've got lemon gunk all over my keyboard now. It's a good thing I really don't touch that. My, uh, my desk is already feeling a little sticky, but, uh, anyway, uh, that's cocktail time. Thank you all for joining me, and I hope we all learned a new recipe. In any case, back to the game! We're back over here. Oh, cool. Conveniently enough, the Cocktail Time logo is not down there. Awesome. Well, let's get back into it. Shall we? Shall we, shall we? I think we shall. All right. Everything is now configured again. Let us continue on another fanciful episode of... It's it's Chrono Trigger. It's not another episode. It's the same episode, but you didn't hear it from me. Oh, I have to actually click on the game. There we go. Now I'm over here, and I got... What did I get? What did I just get from Tobo or something like that? Toma. I got a thing. Oh, I know where the run the rainbow shell is. That's it. I know where the rainbow shell is. And that's back in time. Um, but it's on this it's on this island up here, which is not here anymore. Interesting. But I need to go back to the Middle Ages. That's where it is. And it's apparently on an island that disappeared over the past. How does an entire island disappear, disappear in a thousand years? I don't know. Somebody else blew it up or something, which is unfortunate. Interesting, because, like, I was here a moment ago, and it didn't have anything there. Giant's Claw. Oh! Well, this is a bit of foreboding music. Oh, a little note? What's the note say? Crumpled note wrote, written in Toma's hand. <laughs> Those holes! Perhaps they are meant to be jumped into. Yes! I'd best start all over. What? Holes? Jump into the holes? I don't know if you want to jump into the holes. Oh, holes. Should I jump in? Oh, I don't feel like... <laughs> Roy gets up there and maniacally laughs. Is this the old Tyranno lair? Maybe. I see fire. Lavos fall. Buried Tyranno lair. Underground. Long time. Yes? for chance. Can I go in these holes? Are these holes? It's empty! Empty? 
It's empty! It's empty. They're all, all empty. And now I know that for sure. Hello, little chest. Oh, hello there, Tyrannosaurus Allen! That's a commercial I remember watching on YouTube or something like that. It was like, hello, Tyrannosaurus Allen! I'm filling my waters with volcanicity! And Tyrannosaurus Allen's just like, hey, what's volcanicity? It's funny stuff like that. I, I remember my childhood. That was most definitely a part of my childhood. Now, I know these monsters really enjoy being hit by electric, electricity blast, the light powers, but I don't have light powers. I have fire, shadow, and water with my current party. So that's what we're going with. That dude did. Oh, did I kill one of the Tyrannos already? I may have killed one of the Tyrannos already. Okay, well, time to, uh, boulder toss. Yeah, get, get messed on, kid. <laughs> get fucked on, kid. <laughs> And then you can attack too. I feel like that'll be good. Oh, actually, physical attacks don't do much. He definitely shouldn't have done that. Magical attacks are best. Oh, All right, let's go with. You don't have any particular attacks like that. Let's do ice toss. Oh, we'll do ice toss. Oh, don't kill you. Oh, you killed him. This will. This will. This will bring the battle. Nice ice. To oh my God, you're still alive. Uh oh. Let's do it again. Ice toss. You're a powerful monster, aren't you? Yes, you are. Very powerful monster. You're such a beautiful monster. You're such a beautiful monster. Something my mother used to say, uh, say to me. You're such a beautiful monster because she really liked watching the Looney Tunes. And I believe that... I don't remember what that big heart monster's name was from the Looney Tunes. I used to know. Um, but I don't anymore. It's a cool looking thing. Time to heal Roy Boy. Roy Boy needs a heal. There we go. Everybody can use a little heal. Um, and I think we're doing fine on MP so far. I'm gonna crack open this chest. The clarity cap. What's the clarity cap do? Inventory. Ah, clarity cap. Clarity cap? Clarity cap. What does that do? Prevents confused. Ah, very nice. Oh, I just noticed too. I also have other pieces of armor that I can attach to my, my people's. Excuse me. Uh, equipment. Roy. Could vigilance to prevents all status ailments. I like that on you. So I will keep that there. And you've already got the Aeonian suit, so there's nothing that can make it better. Cool. Next people's is. Uh, Marl. Aeonian helm. The reptite tiara would actually be better. Oh, reptite tiara. What else does that do? Magic plus five. Oh, that's great. Nice. So you've got magic consumption reduced by 75%. 50% of shadow. Oh, shadow damage. Nice. Um, let's see. And you've got um, all of these things can help you there. Get that Ionium helm on you. Uh, and a Luminous robe. Uh, Ionium would be good there too. But what does Luminous do? Magic defense plus five. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the uh, Aeonian. Aeonian, Aeonian. Good, good. Let's continue onwards. Or downwards. Which direction to go? I came up from there. So I'm gonna try to go this way. Oh, it's the... It's a piece of the tower. I bet it connects back to that other area. Like, in the, in the present... Or the place that I was visiting in the present day, maybe. Oh, I can't go this way? Yes, I can. Ladders! Oh, but the ladders are down! Can I go this way, though? It looks as if I could go that way. But apparently not. Nah, can't get up there. Unless I can walk that way. No. Very unfortunate. Can I, like, touch these fires? Nah. Nothing like that. Oh, well, then. Oh well. Love how all the um, the castle-like structures are all built the same in this game. Or oh, they all look the same. Oh, look at you guys. Raptors. Maybe raptors? It's the famous rap gods. The future. I'll hit those in a circle. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's see how physical attacks work on you. And then we'll hit you with a shadow attack. Whoa, that was... Oh, I hit you pretty good. Those actually work pretty well. Electrocute? Oh my god, I can use electrocute now. That actually makes sense. They use a 17 MP though. Zap all enemies with electricity. Sounds like a lot of it. Um, let's use your tailspin attack because everybody's literally right here. And let's do ice because what do we got? Ice. Ice, 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 ice. Windblow confuse. You can't confuse Roy Boy. He's got the uh, prevent status ailments. Windblow confuse. Yeah, and pick me up. I, I, I gotta say. Gravity, what a very good way of fighting your battles for you. Just like pick somebody up, 
like really high up and just drop them all the way down. What a nice smelling lemon. I love the smell of that lemon. Earned experience. Nice. Is this a hole? This feels like it could be a hole in the ground. Nope, no hole in the ground. Kind of keggy. Gonna move on. Ooh, now that's foreboding. Okay. This feels like it could be fake. It is not fake. Let's do a shelter on us. All right. And let's save. Give him a save. The time egg is still the thing. What is the time egg? I don't even know what that is. Oh, those are buttons. I see. Oh, that made monsters fall down from the sky. That was apparently the wrong button. It's the giant monkey dudes! I feel like... Oh, you're totally clashing us around. That hurt. That really hurt, dude. Ape things with wings. The flying monkeys! That's what they are. That's hilarious. The face that that thing makes when it's in danger. Too far to counterattack? Oh, actually, that's really good. Ah. Let's take them down one at a time. I feel like that that's the most advantageous thing to do. Yeah, that was a lot. That was good, actually. Um... Instead, I will hasten up... Actually, let's just do a little attack. A little attack. Just a regular attack for you. And then you will rapid fire fist. You will boulder toss to the same thing. So you found a counter attack, right? Yeah, boy. And then you won't be able to target a counter attack because you do, you're going to be dead. Right? Oh, you're too dead to counter attack. That's what I'm talking about. A tan lapis. Pretty good. Now let's see what this button probably opens at the door, right? No. Oh. Oh, kitty cat, I'm sorry. But what opens up the jaw? Oh, I just click on it, I guess. Rawr! What's the hole do? Can I click the button? Hole? It's empty! Oh, well... Alrighty then. I guess I can't do anything else here. It is empty. Oh. That's unfortunate. What if I go out of here and go back in, perhaps? I can re-click the buttons again? Cat? Oh, wait. Should I go into the holes? Oh, maybe I should go into the holes. Ah, going into the holes. That's what Tomo was talking about. Yeah, all right. Battle time? That opened us up to another location. Over here. Button? Oh, there's a thing on the floor. Obtained a strength capsule. Which I'd rather give to Chrono, but I cannot. I'm gonna guess that other button is Doom, so I will not. Oh, there's a little thing down there, too. Nice! Hi, Ether. Goodbye, Ether. Little thing over here. Strength capsule. Excellent. Excellent. What about... If I head on down there, might be something a little different. I'll climb back up the ladder. And make my way around. Undone. Whoa! Monkeys pop up from the Great Chasm of Doom! I don't like the Great Chasm of Doom, perfectly honest. Not a fan. Doesn't tickle my fancy. And I punch you. I will pounce upon you. <laughs> Too far to counterattack, right? Yeah, you right. Rapid fire fist upon this little number here. You will cure yourself before you die. You were dead. Okay. You will Athenian water. Uh Nah, actually, we can we can take care of these guys. We can take care of them. That's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Not too, too bad at all. And will you counterattack? Will you counterattack for us? I don't know, man. I don't know. I like I like the music they got here. It sounds evil. Throw yourself up, Marla. Um, you could use some MP over there, Roy boy. So I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give you that. There you go. Get, get all that MP back. You've been doing a lot of MP related things, so you can have it. <gasps> Another golden monkey and Tyrannosaurus Allens. Hi everybody. Uh, I'm gonna do my little fancy attack where I boulder blast you, um, and then and then take care of everybody else. Getting a little weak there, Roy boy. We'll take care of you. Take care of you, buddy. Marl's got you. Right? Probably. Too far to attack. Indeed. Too school for cool. When you're too school for cool. Something treating like a fool. That's a Katy Perry song. I believe so. 
Nope, go to the... Nope, please go to Roboy. Thank you. There we go. Now we can, um... Actually, you can probably tail spin him, right? Uh, nope, not really. Um, you can most definitely... Do your electrocute attack. I've never tried it before. Oh, does it all... Was it all enemies or just one? Oh my goodness, look at the triangle! Nice. Oh, that did... Oh, that was very good. That's cost a lot of MP, but... Well worth it. Well worth it. Nice. And there's a little chest in the corner up here. Sweet! Blue gemstone. I recall somebody asking about shiny objects. Excuse me. I recall somebody asking about shiny objects. Uh, oh. Blue... Blue gem is something different. Blue gemstone. Actually, I never looked at the dragon's tier. What does that do? Boost critical hit rate. Cool. Enables Omega Flare. Omega Flare triple tech? What? What's a triple tech? What does that mean? What? It's Omega Flare. I'm gonna equip that. I'm gonna equip that on my party member. I... I don't know what that means. Ow. Wait, maybe... Maybe, like... If I look at these lists here... Is that something I can do right now? That sounds really cool. I wonder how to do... Omega Flare triple tech. Or is that something we can just do on our own? I don't know. I'm gonna see... If I take Roy... Take third eye, doubles evasion, that's good. Blue gemstone. And then see Tex. Uh, it's Tex, right? Party. Can anybody do this Omega Flare? No, I don't know what that is. That is really cool, though. I didn't... I, I figured there was triple Tex, but, like... I right, boost critical hit rate. I feel like I want Dragon's Tear on Roy Boy. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Do I have any other arms over here? Nah, blue gemstone. We'll switch that with the dragon's tier. That seems pretty good. I feel like that'll be very advantageous going forward. Anyway, cool. Blue gemstone. All right. I found fancy, fancy things down here. I like that. Um, if I go up, I'm not sure what I find, but I know that there are other treasures to be found down here. So let's make our way around and touch this button. The zodiac cape. Zodiac cape. There's a lot of good stuff down here. Um... Oh, you know, I feel like that goes on to Janus over here. Because it's a cape? Maybe? No? What is a Zodiac cape? Is that... Let's take a look. Is that equipment? Zodiac cape? Yes, indeed. Magic defense plus 10. Oh, damn. That's pretty good. Who can get more magic defense? Um, actually... Let's see, if I go to equipped and I go to the... But you can't wear it. You can't wear it. Luminous Rift Zodiac Cape. You, you, oh, you can! Oh! Oh, yeah, you're taking that. Oh, yeah, you are. Magic defense, good. You can deal a lot of magic damage, and... I'll not absorb the other ones, but... You know. Chest, chest. Chest, chest, chest. Lapis! And do we got any more enemies down here? Wanna mess up my steez? Don't mess up my steez, man. Hey, look, dinosaurs! Hello, dinosaurs! And a biggie dinosaur! Roy boy, you're gonna use your electric powers, just saying. Electrocution attack. Um, and then you're gonna boulder toss this guy. Oh, fire attack. Unfortunate. And then Marl's gonna heal over Ayla over there. Be just fine. Electric powers. Electro Blitz. Defense lowered by electric shock. Now I can bounce you. I know you don't take much damage from physical attacks. Oh, lowered consi- con wow. Defense lowered considerably. Nice. Nice combo attack there, you guys. Very good. Is there more up ahead? Oh, I see. This is gonna be like a little game thing, I see. Let's cure peoples. There we go. Um, Roy's looking low on the health. Or on the MP, so... Assuming I will have the opportunity to use a shelter later on, I will give this to you. Let's... I mean, do I want to go to that one, or can I go to this one? Nope, I apparently cannot. So I'm going into this one. Oh, but there's something over there. Well, now I want to go over there. Um, hello, monkey. Hello, monkey. Um, click the button. Oh, you know what? I feel like clicking the button would cause it to open, and I don't want to fall. However, I do want to fall over here. Oh. Okay. But I feel like I want to fall down, too. Nope, can't fall into that one. Um, alright, I'm gonna go this way, then. 
where I found rock things. Oh, you're back. I don't want to... Well, I mean, I guess it's not really a problem. Oh, man! You threw the bungos at me. What's wrong with you? Oh, man, I guess you're not really that bad. You're just kind of little guys. Tailspin will take care of you, I think. It's actually not that bad. I thought it would be a lot worse. Oh, yeah, Tailspin really takes care of you guys. You know, as I'm drinking more of this Rendezvous, I'm a fan, personally, of the way that the taste of the Campari and the Kirschwasser are mixed together. Very nice. Oh, please don't. Don't throw more at me, ass nugget. And then you can fall too? Yeah, can I fall down here? Nope, can I go out this way? Are there rock monsters? Rock monster! Oh, no rock monsters. Rap band? I'm getting a wow. I'm getting like a lot of equipment here. That is really good. Time to kill everyone. Uh, you're not close enough. Come on, anybody? Anybody throw me a bone? Come a little closer. Come a little closer, mama. Let me whisper in your ear. I'll tell you all the things that you might want to hear. Oh, you swap places with the dude. Interesting. Nice, nice, nice. Doesn't do a lot of damage. Rainbow! Confuso! Please don't confuse. Oh, you've confused her. Ha 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 ha! Hilarious. If I do proximity bomb, it'll only get that guy. Um, that got rid of that one. Robo tackle I want to go on. Actually, rapid fire fist on this guy. Big ol' monkey dude. This big ol' monkey dude is very dangerous. Very dangerous time, big ol' monkey dude. Ah! He's like, ah! He's got that face on him. Incredible. Gary, Gary. Ayla's level increased. Hey, well, good for you. All right, fall, and then we're going to fight rock monsters. Who uh, may prove to be dangerous. I've experienced rock monsters before. Oh, is there anything else in here? I'm just going to walk past you guys. Can I do that? Yep. Okie dokie, then. I will deal with y'all when I come back. It's an Egu. Is it empty? It's empty. Oh, click. Now I'm down here. Am I in the dungeon? I, I, I am in the dungeon. Uh, I do recognize this area. If I go up here, I go up here. This is a cool little dungeon. Oh, yo. A place where I can use my shelter. Awesome. Inventory. 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 I want shelter. That's what I came here for. Um, but I'm not in spy yet. There we go. Inventory. Shelter. Nice. I actually don't want to go this way just yet. I mean, can I go this way just yet? Oh, I click the button and I can proceed to the egg, which will do something. But I don't want to go there just yet. Instead, I want to go back here, where I was before. And I want to see what the other side has in mind, actually. I'm very curious about that. Ah, yep, this is where it was. Now I can unlock this area. That's what I wanted to do, and I'm glad I came that way. Oh, but there was also a strength over here, wasn't there? Yeah, strength capsule. A lot of strength capsules around here. There was a lot of armor and equipment around here, as well as strength capsules. That'll be really, really, really good. Chrono is like a really, really a, a beefy attack kind of guy, so I kind of want to do... Actually, but you know, Ayla's really physically attack too. <sighs> Let's see if I fight a boss up here. I guess I'll save. I, I, I should save. Yeah, good idea. Good idea, Cam. Saving is good. Egg powers activate! Obtain mid ether. I cracked the egg. Maybe there's a time egg in here too. Oh, can I not? There we go. Who is it? Well, that was a scary sound. Hello? How's key? Um. Hello? Oh, big dinosaur! Do you, by chance, take card? I feel like you're about to request payment for me. Can I just walk behind you? Can I? There's no, there's no way I can just walk behind you. What? No way. N no, there's absolutely no way I can just walk behind you. What? What? Oh. Oh, I thought my game froze. Nope, he's just screaming at me. Well, this seems dangerous. But everybody knows dinosaurs don't... But five? Well, that's a pretty scary number. Okay, everybody knows dinosaurs don't like electric, boogie woogie woogie. So it's going to do that and hopefully get a lower enough of the defense where I can do some, do some big damage on you. Hopefully. 1054, did defense lower? Nope, defense did not lower. So we're going to go with the big old, big old attacks on this guy. 
It's I, I know its eyes are closed at this point, but it actually looked like it's like smiling upwards. Oh, the ice attack. That was real good. We're gonna do that again. And then electrocute. Uh, actually, I feel like uh, proximity bomb, which costs, they cost about the same. I'm gonna go with proximity bomb. I can't use proximity bomb. I'm gonna try rapid fire fist and see if physical attacks are good. It seems like an armored dinosaur, so I don't think it's gonna do much. No, it actually did great for the, pretty much the same price, so. Iceberg toss. I'm just gonna keep on, I'm just gonna keep on going. It's counting down. Um, actually, I can use a barrier sphere to protect myself from physical attacks, so I'll do that. Uh, Roy Boy will be in charge of that. Um, when it's next his turn, because I feel like that would be, it would defend me very, very good. There we go. And then you are going to use a barrier sphere. Reduces magical damage. Oh, magical damage. Oh, that's only a one of us. Oh, shit. Do I, do I have any more spheres type things? Shield sphere. Um, let's go on Marl, because she's our healer. Let's actually, let's everybody. Okay, that was magical damage. Uh, of course it'd be magical damage. Uh, does that kill all of us instantly? Wow, all right. Oh, no, actually, that's that's all right, because you take reduced magic damage, so that's actually pretty good. Uh, okay, please um, please cure up Roboy, if you will. Okay, bring him back to life, if you will. That did a lot of damage. Um, that did quite a bit of damage. Uh, you can also, you can kiss, right? Lightly heal and restore status. Um, I'll do that. Oh, we're both glowing yellow. Why are we both glowing yellow? Interesting. That's a little, a little kiss for you. Here you go. Flame strengthened. I don't like the sound of that. Uh, I lob iceberg. And then you're gonna use a heal beam, actually. Nah, you know what? Rapid fire fist. We still got a little bit of time. Oh! Fire strengthened because... Okay, I need to prepare myself for a magical attack. Not as a good Pow, pow, pow. Bang your chest there, Roy Boy. It makes you stronger. When doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. Get a little taller. Doesn't mean I'm lonely when I'm alone. Iceberg Toss. We're gonna have you use a... Um, because your magic defense is very low. So I'm gonna use a barrier sphere on yourself. Um, the other two are shield from physical attacks, it seems. That's good. Um, but they were already, they were already pretty good anyway. One. And if we can heal a little bit more, let's have... Okay, um, that's probably gonna kill somebody. Um, if we survive this, I would rather... You heal. Oh yeah, you heal. And then you will... We'll see how Brady's doing then. Yeah, let's get, um... Oh, can you heal yourself? That's gonna... That might kill you. Ah, oh, that totally killed you. Okie dokie. Um, I've got Athenian Water for that. Or Athenian water for that. That will kill you too, right? Yep, there we go. And then you can heal yourself. Flame strengthened. Well, now we're back to that again. Uh, Athenian water on you. You can cure yourself. Ugh. Cure yourself. And then you two can start attacking again. MP's really low for Roy Boy. Uh, Ayla looks like she's gonna do some damage, or she can do some damage. So let's see about. Uh, Boulder Toss. Wow, you're getting getting faster, too. Maybe we'll cure you, and then heal beam everybody. Oh, it missed. Shit. Well, that's not good. Um, also, only Roy is protected from that attack. Um, but I could do it for the others. I wanted to heal everybody. Everybody gets a heal. There's much less these you have. Zero. Time for fire attack. Roy should be okay. Is Roy okay? Are you okay, bro? You okay, bro, boy? Wow, that did an insane amount of damage. Holy crap. Alright. We're gonna need to bring you back to life in a hot second. Right? Yep. There you go. You can do your boulder toss, which missed the other time, unfortunately. But it, it's good. If it works, it works, I hope. Arise! And hopefully do something. Yeah, come on. Yeah, yeah. Oh, because I can't... Oh, I can't pick him up. That's why it's not working. Shucks. Oh, you're gonna die, right? Oh, that is totally death for you. Um, so you're gonna arise again. Three, two, one. Wait, three, two, one. What? No, not three, two, one. What? Three, two, one. Oh dear. Is that all the time that I have? Oh, it was counting from five earlier. Now it's even lower. That's truly unfortunate. I think everybody should use these. I don't know. Is it physical attacks or fire? It's definitely fire attacks. Zero, zero already. Wow. That's um. 
pretty quick counting you got there, pal. Pretty quick counting. Oh, and it killed everybody. Wow. Alrighty then. Big old beefy monster dude. Uh, I'm gonna try that again. Perhaps knowing that I should protect myself. That fire must have gotten hella powerful then. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Damn, Daniel. Where did you find that? I'm going to touch you head on. Oh, I, I, okay. If I touch him head on, he doesn't want me to mess with him. But if I walk around, then he scares me. He's like, you guys can pass if you'd like to. And then we're like, okay, we're going to go past. He's like, just kidding. So let's continue with our um, iceberg tossing. He's toss throwing enemy around. Yep, that's what we're going to go with. That and I want to see how much Robo Tackle does. As opposed to Rapid Fire Fist. I think Rapid Fire Fist is probably a lot more, but I want to see that now while I'm observing carefully. Because if it does about the same... Oh, 797 for significantly less MP? Yep, I'm going to go with that. Nice big toss. I'm going to continue doing Robo Tackle. That's like a lot less. It's much more worth it that way. It's more damage per MP than before. And that's Iceberg Toss, and I don't know exactly if that's much better than the other one. Just Ice Toss, not Iceberg Toss. Well, I guess Iceberg Toss. It's an entire Iceberg as opposed to the other one, so... Iceberg Toss... I don't know which one would be better. Let's... In a circle. Let's do Iceberg Toss. Okay, now you can use the Barrier Spear yourself, and then the two of you will use your Barrier Spear on yourselves, too. Hopefully. As our last-ditch effort before we lob some Fire Fire at us. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so they weren't able to, but at least Roy Boy's okay. We'll see if that actually reduces damage or not. Alright, that actually did. That was actually really good. Barrier Sphere on yourself. Um, you can use a Heal Beam on all of us. I think that would be good. And then you can... Not Tail Spin. Boulder Toss. No, uh, Jump Kick. Jump Kick and Emmy. Enemy. Spin and strike surrounding enemies. Eh, yeah, round below kick seems to be the one. Bounce. 533? Eh, not bad. Rather it be something better, but whatever. Not too bad at all. Let's continue our flame strengthen. Let's do... Oh, the iceberg toss. Iceberg toss. While you continue to heal everybody, because you don't do a lot of damage right now. It's all on our magic casters. So be taking that heed. That'll conserve your MP quite a bit, Roy boy. I think. Not bad at all. That'll kind of be the job. We got healers and we got people like that. Four, we got plenty of time left. Or, I don't know if... I, actually, I don't know how long the barrier sphere lasts for. I could be very wrong. Although he is counting down a whole hell of a lot faster than before, so... Or previously, in the beginning of the battle, that is. Let's heal everybody so we're all prepared as best as we possibly can. Oh, healing powers! Healing powers! Healing powers! Alright, keep on screaming, why don't you? Yeah, keep doing that. And then I'm gonna do rapid fire fist because I have the time to right now and everybody is healed. Oh, I didn't want to do rapid fire fist, it was the other one. Um, because it's a big MP waster. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. We're good. We're Gucci. Maybe. Yeah. Hurts, don't it? Hopefully that saves us a bit from the trouble. I definitely want to have everybody shielded when things happen later. Um, Iceberg. Is that going to kill Roy Boy? Yeah, that killed Roy Boy, so we're going to arise him so you can come back and heal. In the meantime, um, you are almost, almost dead. You're going to use a potion on yourself, actually. Yeah, that seems that seems better off that way. For healing purposes. Raibai is back from the dead. And you seem... Alright. Flame strengthened. Gotcha. Let's do Iceberg Toss. You are going to heal. Yep, that seems scary. Scary indeed. You keep screaming at me and it makes me scared. I am the terrified. I am the terrified. Or Damagi. And then you can heal. You can use another barrier shield on yourself. Barrier sphere. Protect from the fire damage. Yeah, everybody should be good then. Two. Gotcha. And then Roy Boy's gonna... 
barrier sphere himself. Because that should reduce magic damage by one third. And I know 1500 could kill Roy, but 500 cannot. Nice. Oh, please give me enough time. Yes. Okay. Everybody's protected. Zero. Oh, everybody except Ayla. No! Oh, well, it's okay. We can bring her back. After the fact. That was a lot. So Marley's actually going to go on cure duty. Um, you. And then you are going to use Athenian Warner on Roy Boy to bring him back from the depths. And then everybody's going to use Barrier Shears Theories again as, like, pretty much the first thing that you do um, before you start attacking again. Oh, please don't kill Marley. That's exactly how much to kill Marley. Very good. Okay. We're going to Barrier Spear. No! 3, 2, 1 already? No! Okay, heal yourself. Um... No! Oh my god! It always comes up to that point, man. That is insane. That's gonna kill... Yep, that killed Ayla. Shucks. That was pretty close, though. I don't know. I feel like the 3-2-1 attack is the one to avoid. Wow, that is incredible. But you know what I will do? I'm gonna go in this time, and I'm gonna change up my loadout so that we have the fire vests on to absorb um, the fire damage. I think it prevents fire damage. I don't know if it actually absorbs it. Um, Ruby Vest has fire damage. So that would be really good. Uh, it does bring things down a little bit, but if you're using fire attacks, I want it. Magic defense plus 10 doesn't do much for me. Red Vest actually absorbs the fire damage. So actually, I'm going to do Ruby Vest on you, because you have good magic defense. Um, magic defense is 73. Same thing, Ruby Vest for you. And then Roy Boy is going to get the Red Vest. Yeah, that'll work. And then Dragon's Tear boosted the critical hit rate. Um, I don't know. I feel like I'd want something different for that. What does Rat Band do? Grants 80% counterattack. Counterattack Grant? Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, you know what? You're going to be hitting my buddy Roy. He's going to get you gonna pick it pounded, my friend. We're going to pound you. Pound you into oblivion. Yeah, all right. Uh huh. You got your magic. That's good. Reptile Tiara. You got your Aeonian Helm. Do these things offer anything else? Prevents confusion. There's no confusion. Yeah, it looks about it to me. That's good. And you got magic defense plus 10 with the barrier ring. That's why your defense is up there like that. Yeah, I'm cool with that, actually. All right. Let's save that as our next loadout to try to avoid all that fire damage. Because I feel like I was really, really close, except for that last attack. I could also be very wrong about that. That just might be a killer attack, unless you can actually avoid it all. We'll see. We'll give that another shot. Punch him! Yeah, counterattack. That'll do a little bit of damage. There we go. Let's do that. And then it's Robo Tackle that we're going to use. Not Rapid Fire Fist, because that's just... It's just an unnecessary use of MP. Just completely unnecessary. What I like, I feel like I've said this before, but I feel like one of the things that I really like about this game is that strategy actually matters. The game feels balanced, I, if I'm using the term balanced correctly. But it feels like if you adjust your equipment properly, you will be able to have a good time in battle. And I think that's, I think that's good. I think that's good. Also, like, obviously, there are some items in the game which if you explore, you get rewarded for. Like, you will find items that treat you well. All right, now everybody's going to put on barrier spheres. Barrier sphere. Scary, scary. Counterattack! Oh, that was a good counterattack. Nice. I guess technically the growl is an attack. So, perfect. Rubber tackle. Yeah, look at that. That's considered a counterattack. The, the, the growl is an attack, so they counterattacks. That's really cool, actually. Nice. Counter, counter, counter. Counter, 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 counter. Power. Robo tackle. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, fire time. That's okay. We'll be just fine. Although, actually, I would have wished for. Yeah, you absorb the fire damage, so Roy will not die. Yes, that's perfect. Unless, except for the crunches. The crunching will potentially kill them. That's good. That's very good. Actually, I feel like perhaps that... I, okay, if I lose again, I'm going to put it on Marl because I feel like having the ability to heal everyone is more advantageous. Let's... 
continue with our uh, iceberg toss. There we go. Heal everybody! Heal my friends! Heal them all. Heal them very good. Yeah, actually, I think the red vest would actually be better on Marl, but if I die again, then I'll do that. Um, let's see. Oh, you got munched up. You could use a high potion right about now, and Robo Boy is gonna be the one to give it to you. High potion on you. There you go. Hopefully this barrier sphere will last until um, the next fire attack. I hope. Maybe. I'm, I'm hoping so. That could be good. Counter attack. C -c -c counter attack. C -c counter attack. Go up and counter attack. Rawr. You gotta wait for Marl to show up, and you are going to Robo Tackle. Punch! Punch attack! Honestly, this doodle reminds me a lot of, like, Rex from Toy Story. Just, like, the way that the wrinkles are on the dinosaur's body just feels... just feels that way this time. Okay, I'm gonna do one more Iceberg Toss with... We've got two there. I want to queue up a Heal Beam for after the fire attack. In case the shields wind up going down. Yep, one. Um, and then it'll be a heal beam. That's what I'm gonna queue up. Hopefully I pick the right time to do that. Only after you start attacking will I use it. Right, I'm gonna wait just a little bit of time. There we go, zero. Now I've got a heal beam queued up. Cool. Time-based battle system. It's cool. You, you get kind of get used to that. Nice, and a counterattack, and a heal beam, and everybody's okay. Oh, we did it! That was all we needed! Wow, and we didn't even get to the 3-2 one this time. Nice. Big old Tyranno dude is dead. A Giga Tyranno. Giga, Giga monster? Gigasaur? Gigasaur. Gigasaur. Gigasaurus Rex. Now I will continue. Whoa, it's the rainbow shell, in it? Yeah, it is. This is the rainbow shell. Is it? Pick it up. Oh, it's heavy, ain't it? Um, heavy, heavy. No can carry. Castle person help. Oh, okay. Ca oh, I'm heading back to the cat. Oh, we're going back to the castle. Well met. You're always welcome here. Is something troubling you? Well, actually. I see. So you wish for me to safeguard the shell you found on the island within the castle for future generations? Grant them this small favor. It's little enough to ask. Very well. I shall have the shell brought to the castle and stored in our vaults as a royal heirloom. Commander! Oh, Commander! Yes, your majesty! Go to the giant's claw, retrieve from me the rainbow shell. At once, your majesty! Off you go, little one. Bye-bye. Thank you, your majesty. And Queen Lean, too. Of course. Nice. I will prefer to deserve this for future generations. Very nice. There was definitely more of Dragon's Claw for me to, like, explore. But, um, I will go to the future. I guess to the present. Um. Yeah, I'll go to the present. I, I know there's a castle then. Oh yeah, this is really convenient that I can fly around now. I don't have to go through the forest all the time. Convenient. Mm, father. Hmm. Yeah, if your chancellor is ordered that the interior of the castle be sealed until the trial is over. Tr trial? Like, the trial of Chrono still? That's still going on? Same thing on the left. Wait, were the stairs there over there before? What? I don't know. Is this a new location? Hi, everybody. Hello down here. You don't need to stand on my shoulder. I ain't gonna poison the Chancellor's food. Just stop complaining. I already up. How am I supposed to concentrate on my cooking with him staring at me? I know, right? Rough business. Were they always there? I don't know. Oh, there's a chest over here? Have I been in here recently? Turbo Ether? I don't... I guess I haven't been here recently. It's locked. It's locked. Locked chest? That's only a thing in Minecraft! Hello? Entry's forbidden! Let me through! Okay. Yeah, dude. Whoa, the trial- oh. 
<coughs> good citizens, have any of the honor, had any of you who the royal heirloom known as the Rainbow Cell? I too had no idea of its existence until I laid eyes upon this, that is. I hold before you an ancestral will written by the end of our own king's distant forebears, if I may. Unveil the rainbow shell to the people at the Millennial Fair, that they might enjoy the blessing of our royal treasure. I have no idea what you're talking about. We have no ancient heirlooms here. Ancient royal heirlooms, that is. Surely you don't intend to claim this is forgery. I ask you, good people of the court, why does the defendant deny you a glimpse of the glorious rainbow shell? Why, because he no longer owns it. He sold a priceless heirloom of our kingdom for no reason other than his own greed. Witness, if you please. The uh, princess, um, we are conducting a trial here. Father! Nadia, the chancellor is trying to frame me. Let us not hurl insults. If you are innocent, it should be simple enough to confirm the matter with proof. Proof? Yes. If his grapes has not sold the heirloom, it should remain within the castle. Bring the rainbow shell before the court, and his innocence will be beyond question. Not that I expect you to succeed. <laughs> <laughs> Chancellor, are you okay? What kind of trickery is this? <laughs> Remove them! I want them out of my trial room! You're getting scuff marks all over the tile. Entrance forbidden! Okay. Let me through! I'm sorry, my lady, but I, not even you may enter. The rainbow shell will prove the king's innocence. What are you talking about? The chancellor made up the entire thing. There is no heirloom. Have you forgotten uh, have you forgotten our actions in 600 AD? We altered the course of history. The rainbow shell should be here in the castle. Aha! The rainbow shell he we gave to my ancestor 400 years ago must still be here. It's probably in the basement. Let's go. To the basements. And off we go. That chest is locked. It makes me sad. I'm going to go to the basement. Peace out, girl scouts. I say that way too much. <gasps> You're dead! Are you dead? Ugh, I wrapped in my toe! Dude, you had me worried for a second there. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Yes, the boss is finally gonna settle the score. I was 13 generational family grudge. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna frame the king good with the fake evidence. <laughs> cackle, cackle. And I'm gonna kick your ass. Watch this. Um... Tailspin? Tailspin? Oh, I can't. But I can pro- Wow, did we really just kill you in one shot? Uh oh, why waste my magic points on- <laughs> You are weaklings compared to the might of my time-traveling abilities! Or at least, that's that's what I'm convincing myself of. So there is a plot! T to the game? Yeah, I mean, clearly there's been a plot this entire time, Marl. But hey, whatever, we better hurry! Indeed we shall. Oh, to be like... <laughs> yes, I, I bought it from the king. I wasn't sure if I should, but, well, he looks so desperate for the money. Liar. I've never seen you before. Not even once in my life. Although, you have quite a recognizable handsome face. Perhaps I've seen you in the quarters before? Butter in the cart! Don't be talking about this nally wagging. <laughs> Was I convincing? Yeah, perfect. Bye bye, asshole. Whoa, it's the treasure. Whoa, it is the treasure room. Wow. I didn't even know there was a treasure room like that. Pretty sweet, man. Pretty sweet. Victory is assured. I wonder if they're all locked, though. Wouldn't be the first time. Lapis. Turbo Ether. Empty. Excitement. Oh, but I can't open it up the other one. It's empty. Yeah, yeah, it is. I just cannot contain my excitement. Oh, what are you doing? Hey, pal. I'm gonna kick your butt. Watch this. Kicks butt. All the time. Whoa, hi there. Fire? Oh. Everybody's fighting then. Well, I was gonna auto it and, um... 
See if I can enjoy my cocktail then. Rendezvous. Uh. Oh, is the fighting already over? It seems like it is. Let us continue. Athenian water. I keep getting Athenian water for all this. Nice. More enemies? Hello! Time to fight you all again. Auto style. You know what I'm in the mood for? I am totally in the mood for chocolate. So I'm gonna munch some peppermint bark that I have laid around. I have a ton of chocolate on my desk and I literally never eat them. Um, but every once in a while, I get the urge. Oh, I gotta continue with the battle. Or I gotta continue with the game. So I'll get there eventually. <clears throat> Through the door into the chest room. What's in the chest? It's elixir. Wow, it's a, oh, it's the shell. I knew it. Turbo ether. Lapis. Oh, and I can't get those ones. Um, special, special. Yeah, there's the shell. The rainbow shell. There is a letter. To Marley. Dearest Marley, I know things are not easy with your father, but though it may be hard to realize now, know that you will ever be his daughter. Nothing can break the bonds of blood. Neither distance nor words of anger. Someday, you will leave the nest and have children of your own. Then you will understand the truth of what I say. Blood is the sap that flows through the limbs of a family tree. And come what may in future days, you will forever be joined by that Queen Guardia the Eleventh, Lean. Oh, are, are you dead? I have no parents or blood, so it is difficult for me to comprehend the meaning. But this letter seems somehow warm, temperature-wise. I feel myself growing warm in my temples. Hang in there, father. We're coming. Got the rainbow shard. Uh -huh. <laughs> Showing my feet. All right. Members of the jury, it is time for a verdict. If you believe that the defendant is guilty, stand to the left. It is it to the right. Guilty. I gotta head back upstairs and save daddy -o. Back up to the surface. Now, there's a lot of little rats down there. Rat type things. Hello. Hello. Gorgon time! You are already dead. I think what I will do is I will get to the end of this court case here. And that is probably where I'm going to end for this evening. Because I wasn't actually intending to go this very long either. But I did because I was having such a good time. Which is exactly what video games are supposed to be for. I'm sorry, my lady, but not even you may enter. You really won't reconsider? No, princess, I really won't. There's only there's one other way. It's a bit rough, but just follow me. Uh, what are you doing? A verdict has been reached. Four votes of guilty to a single not guilty. The defendant has been found guilty as charged. The line of Guardia has ended. The kingdom shall be mine. Take him away. I hate you, dude. Wait! Yeah, you is it? Oh shit, dog. It is I, the shadow of your daughter. Not the Chancellor's daughter. The Queen King's daughter. Kind up a top. Father Break, here I am, Father! Smack! And now I've broken both of my knees. Nadia. Princess. Pr princess. You're too late. His grace has already been found guilty. Even the king is subject to our laws. No, not when the whole thing was a setup. Nonsense. The king's a crook. He sold the treasures right here. Observe. Impossible. Give it up, Chancellor. Your little scheme failed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. 
You're the ones who'd better give up. If I can avenge my ancestors the easy way, I'll do it here and now. The hard way. What? Oh, time to fight the Chancellor. Super Ultra Presto Transformo! Oh my god, it's that dude I kicked to his ass! Miasma! Confused. That's a, that's a descendant of the uh, old dude. Old thingy dude. I don't know. Uh, let's see if... Um, if I can do... I don't know, let's try Beast Toss. Throw an enemy around, let's try that. Let's try to toss him around if I can. Pick him up! Throw him around! Whack, 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 whack! Flam dunk! Oh, that's a lot of damage! Oh, I am so doing that again. That took up so much stuff. Yeah, do that shit again. Hell yeah, dude! That's a lot of damage. That's very good. That much damage is good for the kingdom. Whack. Oh, I probably should have adjusted my loadout before getting into this battle, but this might actually be pretty good. Nice. And now you've got not Grag! What did that do? You bounced? Oh, it little little damage to the ground. Marley, you doing okay? I feel like you could probably um Oh, please don't. Please don't confuse yourself. Oh no, don't get confused. Oh, thank goodness. That would have been not so good. Let's do a heal beam. We'll do a heal beam and you're gonna run in and like whack it with your um lob of enemies if it were at stone! Oh, I actually didn't have... Oh, I didn't heal myself before this battle, so that's why I was so low on MP for Roy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fall to the ground. That does quite a bit of damage, too, honestly. Me, I... Me, confuse. I guess you should probably be hit with the status not-so-ailments. Beast Toss. Hit him again. Honestly, I don't know if this guy will be too difficult, because I can actually lob him around. He's not heavy enough. For, or he's not heavy enough for me not to be able to throw around. I heard about you from my ancestors. Your weakness is... Oh, is it not enough? Can I not? Oh, crabs. Um, let's do... Um, turbo ether. Needle spin version uh, 13 or, or whatever it was. Barrier sphere, medium water. Uh, oh my god. A uh, high ether on Roy. Then you are dying. So you should have a high potion on yourself. Maybe if you can. Awesome, awesome. That's good. You got healed with your thingy, my baba. Nice. Oh, stop it, Marlo. Come on, dude. Let's let's not do that. Beast tossed. You are still confused. I can't believe that. Whack, 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 whack. Send them all the way around. I wish I had someone to play ball with. My daddy don't. My daddy don't play ball with me. Because I never asked him to play ball with me. To be fair. Oh, please don't confuse him. Oh, nice. Actually, you got the thing that, that you can't be affected by status ailments, so it's fine. Wow, this guy's got a lot of health. I think that's almost 10,000 damage that we've done so almost up until this point. Maybe? All good? Nah. Oh, you finally hit them for once. Good job, Marl. Grag! Ow. Oh, gunk from the sky. Oh, more shit coming down from the sky. That was a little bit of damage. I, I wish that I would be able to... Hopefully heal everybody by now. Um, almost, maybe soon. I do want to heal uh, everybody if I can. It's a lot of damage. No, N not again. Are y'all okay? Oh, please don't kill everybody. Oh, you might kill everybody. Oh, okay. Oh, it's fine. Oh, you only killed Roy. He's fine. Bye, bye, dude. Until next time. Oh no! Oh, yeah, no! I killed him, but they also killed my entire party at the same time! Oh, man, I wasn't able to save during any of that. Oh, let's see, I, I gotta have a, a resume point, right? Yeah, 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 that should that should be fine. Right before here? Yep, right before. Let's let's fast, fast through it all. And I'm gonna heal up uh, Roy's MP in the very beginning. Chancellor of the Life of Guardian, take him away! Only wait, but I've got a better idea. I've got proof! The Rainbow Shell! You're corrupt! You're evil, trying to take over the kingdom. How dare you do something like that? I'm also gonna grab another piece of chocolate because I can't. Father! I'm here to save you, Father! Mm-hmm. <laughs>
I will admit, a little annoying that, um, a little annoying that it starts you all the way back at the beginning of the dialogue. Oh, you're already dead like that. Crap, come on. Uh, give me a high ether for, um, actually a mid ether for Roy. And honestly, do a mid ether on, uh, Aelin as well. Good, good. Grab! Sound effects. Let's do beast toss. That did really well the first time. I just gotta get through it again. Apparently. Um, and I wish I could go to switch out the equipment on Marl so that she wouldn't get confused. I'd rather... Well, actually, no. I'd rather... I guess I'd rather her get confused than the two of us who are doing the most damage. Jalen Raub. Roy boy. Rob Roy. Roy. Rob Roy. Oh my god, you're actually doing stuff now. Um, I don't know, man. Let's try Iceberg Toast. I want to see if that does much. Oh, you're confused, so... There we go. Well, you're confused again, but just be that way sometimes. Oh, Marla's really low. Well, I feel like at the very least, like, if you're dead and I bring you back to life, you won't be, like, going around and doing crazy things. You won't be confused anymore, so actually it might be advantageous for you to die. Faint, rather. Might be good. Might be actually a very good thing. Yep, you're dead. But I guess then you're going to try to go after other people, so. This time will be... Um, using an Athenian water and then a lapis to heal everybody. I heard about you from my ancestor, and I know your weakness. Athenian water on you, and then you're gonna use a lapis. Uh, was there bigger lapises? 200 HP to all party members? That's fine. That's good. And then I'll heal everybody. And I don't think Marl will be, um, confused anymore. Needle spin, needle spin, needle spin, needle spin. Ouch. Oh, you kill. Oh, you killed Ayla? Oh, I couldn't see the, um, the thing, but you can use a rise on her. Oh, and you're dead too. Oh my god. What the hell? Why was that not happening like that before? Okay, well, you can use Athenian water on her. You will use a rise on the other one. Yeah, because you don't have a lot of physical, um, physical, uh, uh avoidance. So, okay, what you're gonna do, Marl, if you survive, is gonna arise Ayla. Um, I want you to use, uh... Uh, what is it? The shield sphere. Oh, now you're gonna kill her. Okay. Athenian water it is. Athenian water is what it's gotta be. Nope, please arise. Please arise. There we go. Nope, that wasn't gonna work either. Oh my god. Why did it have to be on her? What kind of asshole does that? Fine, we're gonna do it on Ayla. Because I feel like Ayla's better at avoiding that stuff. Oh, you're gonna kill Roy Boy. Oh my goodness, is there a way to recover from this? Dude, I don't know. I, Ayla's at least fast. I don't know if I'm able to do that one. Oh man, it went so well the first time. I'll be able to get to the end of this. Um, Athenian water on Marley, please. Then you can heal and arise. Arise, motherfucker. Okay, and then you can also, um, I don't know. Um, Lapis. No, you're dead! Why? Oh my god! No! You're doing it again! Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, I guess what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load my game from this location, which is, I think it's all the way back before. That is so annoying. Wait, all the way. Oh, I'm all the way back here. I haven't saved since then? Oh, no way, dog. Just kidding. Pause, please. There we go. Just kidding. <laughs> Settings. Uh, quit. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Guess we're, uh, we quit the entire game like that. Alright, well, I'm gonna go back in. Because I am gonna do this tonight. I want to. I must. Resume. Okay. Oh, no. Oh! What? No way. I'm all the way back here again. The resumed game is... Oh, wow. Think I might have lost that. 
I'd have to fight. Is this dinosaur dude all over again? Is this dinosaur dude all over again? Did I really not save it all? Ooh. Yeah, rookie mistake, Cam. Rookie mistake. Okay, well. That is unfortunate. I am all the way back here again. Oh, that's not... That's not fun. Okay. Well. I'm just gonna leave it there, then. Because I don't really feel like doing that over again. Because that was really, really tough to get through the first time. So, uh, I will continue... I will wind up going through that off camera. And we will pick up last where we were next time on camera with an X. In any case, thank you, everybody, for coming along. It was a fun time. And now, I'm going to end things awkwardly, as I usually do in this game, because I... Oh, my God. <laughs> I somehow always manage to mess things up in this one, but, like, wow. I'll try that. Who's playing... Who's playing Chrono right now? I've seen some peeps playing the Chrono Trigs, so I'm going to pass it on to them. Pass them on to the peeps. We're small like that. Let's do it. So that's what we're going to do. To everybody who's going along with the raid, I'm sure we will appreciate it. It'll be wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So... Thanks, everybody. Thanks so much for coming along. I'm going to go down here now because my camera angle gets weird on the screen. But thank you, everybody. It was fun. I enjoyed my chrono triggering today. And I guess we'll figure out when we get to do it next time when I correct the mistakes of my past because, well, apparently I don't know how to save properly. Years of video gaming and I can't figure out how to save for shit. But whatever. It's been good. So to everybody, I hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your night day, evening, twilight, and we'll catch up with you guys next time, probably on the Tuesday. Peace out to everybody. Until then, party on, my friends. Bye.